connection. All right, so welcome. Um, welcome to the Abnormal Notary Show. I am Ty. Listen, I am exhausted. I have Salathia Middleton from Dotted Line Signings with us. We're going to be talking about a lot of things. Um, so make sure you get tapped in, have your questions. Um, I have a lot of things, but I think I'm just going to just pass it and we're just going to get started. So uh, I'm going to bring you in. And Salathia, welcome. Hi, Ty. Thank you so much for having me this morning. I am really excited to be here. Um, my name is Salathia Middleton. I own Dotted Line Signings based out of Northeast Florida, the Jacksonville Orange Park area. Um, I am an online notary. I a mobile notary. Um, I love my general notary work. Um, I do I do pretty much not everything, but I do a lot of things in the notary world. Dotted line signings is a signing service that I am growing and developing and trying to find its place among the other signing services. So that is what I am working on now. I'm totally excited to be here. I am nervous, and but I'm going to make it through this. So yes, Ty, I am, I'm, okay. I guess I am smiling because I'm so excited to be here. I was like, yes, I got my invite. I got my invite. <laughs> so thank you so much, Ty, I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate you accepting. Um, this has been an interesting journey for me. So I've, I've had the ability to interview and, and have casual conversations with a lot of amazing people that I hope to continue to keep in contact with you being one of them. So let's talk about it. How, how, how long have you been in this notary world? Like how long have you been doing this? Okay, so I got, I started it the end of 2019. And when I say the end of 2019, dotted line signings was formed on December 31st, 2019. And I, I didn't get my commission until January 5th. So I spoke it into existence. I said, I'm going to go ahead and start this business this year since I've already put some money into it. And then the commission came in January 2020. In so just a little over a year. Yes. You just got started in the notary community? Yep. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to say, I'm going to put a little caveat. You know, Takesha has her Facebook group, Quick Find. And yeah. I've been in that group for years and years and years, right? So it wasn't until December 2019 I said, okay, I'm going to become a notary. And that was all she wrote. That's how it happened. Nice, nice. Yes. So I'm about to put you on the spot right now. Why are you so nervous? I I don't know because I'm not used to being on this side, right? I'm just used to viewer, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so now I feel like I gotta have answers, and I'm just like, oh goodness gracious, oh, I gotta, have, oh, I gotta have answers. So, oh, but I might I might break out of it shortly. All right. So 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 you became a notary. When did you, when did you um, come into dotted line signings? Like, how did that come to fruition? Um, I was, I was sitting around trying to think of a neat name, catchy name that would, that um, told the story. And so I, and that's how dotted line signings was born. I thought it would be unique enough um, that it would catch on and that not too much had to be told. If you think of dotted line signings, you think of notary or something signing, yeah. right? So yeah. I I was just talking with some friends and that's how it came to be. Dotted line signings probably didn't come into its own until I became an online notary right around um, the end of March, beginning of April, 2020. 
Okay, so data line signings. A lot of people have a lot. Well, I have a lot of freaking questions about signing companies. Is it true as it relates to like the pricing and like title companies and lenders and they give you a set price and then you, you know, so for instance, they said $400. Do you have to take that money and do your overhead? Then you give the rest to your notaries. Like how does that process how does that process work without getting too granular in your business? <laughs> so basically I say it's, it's, it's me, it's my pricing. So it's not them saying that, Hey, we're only going to pay you this. I haven't encountered that yet. So I can't say that it doesn't happen. All I can say is I haven't account encountered that yet. So okay. it's basically me saying, Hey, this is how much I charge as a refi and they either say yay or nay. So luckily they have been saying yay. <laughs> so, and, and that's how it goes. Now, if all of a sudden they're going to say, Hey, can you change your prices? I don't know. This is all we have. Um, the, the blessing has been that I've built relationships with the companies that I have. And, and I think we have a reciprocal um, relationship where they take care of me and I take care of them. So. Yes. Okay, so so do you believe in notaries countering? So like if you give them a price, right, and you explain mm -hmm. to them what's popping, do you mm -hmm. negotiate? Do you believe in countering? And do you believe in countering after they have accepted a price? The only, I do believe in countering, but sometimes yeah. the countering doesn't make sense for me, right? So it's like, well, it doesn't make sense. I've had... And I would say, especially if I have the package beforehand, hey, this package is 31 pages. It's a seller's package. You know, I try to give as much information as I can, right. as long as I have the documents, right? And so like, hey, this only has probably about four notarizations. And then I'll put it out for a certain price. And then I have some notaries come back and say, well, my fee is 150. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And then that's, that's all I can say, okay? That's the move on or do you, do you take it? Do you move on? Like it really depends on the situation I'm in. If or not, like last minute stuff. Okay. Last minute remote area, remote areas. I do try to um, already up the ante a little bit more because I know they have to drive a little bit further. Um, sometimes notaries will counter and say, Hey, Slathia, you know, that's a little bit far. Can I have a little bit more? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, yeah. but when I'm just getting the, my flat fee is 150, but I'm looking at your profile. I don't see 150 in your profile. I'm trying to at least give you a little bit of what you asked for, but now you're like, so maybe update your profile if you want, if you don't want me to ask, Listen, if you don't want me to offer what's in your profile. So that's a good segue. So I'm going to segue into profiles. A lot of people have a lot of questions about profiles. People just put information about themselves and what they do for themselves, but not so much for, hey, if I came to Salathia and I wanted to join your network, how can I push my profile ahead of everybody else that you can see I'm actually worth 150 You get what I'm saying? Yes. How can um, people update their profiles as such? I would say if you are new to a platform, then you may in your profile have to say how many signings you've completed. Because if you're new, say on signing order, on signing order, if you've never accepted a signing order job, then you, it says zero. It says zero. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, well, why what do you mean? Like, like I can see how many, I can see the signings that a notary has accepted or been offered. But if, but you know, snap docs and signing order, they don't talk. So if you're taking most of your work from snap docs, yeah. then, and then all of a sudden you're over here in signing order saying my fee is 150. And I'm like, but you ain't did nothing. That's what I'm seeing. <laughs> so if you want to update your profile and said, and you know, let's be honest with it, right? You know, I've done a hundred signings. Maybe you have to update it weekly because you keep doing more signings. Don't say I've done 500 plus signings and I see that you were just commissioned two weeks ago. So yes. So sometimes I do have time <laughs> to look at, at, at profiles. Yes. So yeah. yes, your profiles do mean everything. I do, um, I do look at the check boxes. So if you tell me you have a mobile scanner, 
I'm not I'm, to me your phone and cam scam cam scan tiny scanner to me that's not a mobile scanner <laughs> because I'm mm -hmm. looking for someone who's able to um scan immediately after signings now I know if you don't have it checked, then I may have to wait a little bit, but at least you're being honest <laughs> in your profile about it. Um, your, to, your phone is not, um, <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> I can't wait to meet Greg. I'm so excited. I think it's gonna be freaking awesome. I think so too. So, awesome. so I would say that you definitely want to make sure your profile is accurate. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I will say what I do have time sometime, and I may have to call. I've I've had to call out a couple of um, notaries uh, mm -hmm. about their profiles and be like, really. You, 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 you done. And, and the reason why I do it is because we are in the business of being honest. We, we should be practicing integrity and not just checking boxes because we want to get the next job. Yes. So if I'm doing it, then somebody else is probably doing it too. If you were commissioned two months ago and you saying you've done that many signings, did you really? Did, did you, you really? really? Yeah. And when you have all the boxes checked, I'm like, that's you really? Yeah, you 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 got you you real really? and so and I don't want to and and then I have to ask. Um, sometimes I'll say, hey, I need a Spanish speaking notary, and this is a in office signing, and somebody accepts, right? So I'll call them. I say, hey, do you speak Spanish? Oh no, I didn't see that part. I gotta be able to speak Spanish. Yeah, yeah, you do. So it's oh. like, <laughs> so you just have to be. And you know, I think it's just the the fact that you click the button first, right? Because that's what that's yes. what it is. That's the name of the game. Let me let me click the button first. Yes. So I would say sometimes you do have to read the fine print before you accept an order, because once you do, you you are on the you are on the hook for that. Yeah, this is what I'll tell you. I um because like in the beginning, I wanted to get so many signings. I would just hit the button and not realize what I was doing and then found out that it's not sometimes you have to read the, the profile of the signing because you may not be going to the person's house. There may be a different location where mm -hmm. you have to go. And I, I didn't do that. I was like 10, 15 miles away from where I was supposed to be because I didn't read. All I was trying to do was just click the button really, really fast. And I couldn't mm -hmm. back out of it, right? So Right, right. Like, I mean, yes. I'm going to ask you a question. Here's a question real quick. I'm going to pop it in. Okay. This is JH, any tips for notaries who don't have any signings under their belt to put in their profile? Um, this is where you want to speak about any type of experience you have, whether it's customer service, whether it's mortgage. You don't want to say, I haven't done any, you know, but you want to speak to your experience. Are you a great communicator? Um do you, uh, what else can you do? Anything that will put you in a positive light for this particular um, career field, um, for your notary business, that's what you want to put in your profile. I've hired um, signers who, according to their profile, haven't had any signings. And I don't have a problem doing that, but um, definitely your profile wants you want your profile to stand out and um like tracy said i believe reflect um honesty and integrity in your profile don't if you've never done a reverse mortgage don't don't click don't don't check the box you know just just be honesty it honest it'll go a long way are you able to pull up griff's profile let me see let me see. I'm pretty sure I am. I'm looking at my computer, y'all. So let me see what I can do. And while you're doing, I'm pop up some more stuff. Clyde, what's going on, King? Thank you so much. Griff was awesome. If y'all don't know, I'm going to be in Virginia, uh, 757 with Griff, my first live event um, with him. It's going to be awesome. I'm such fangirling for Griff. He's so amazing. So amazing. I'm so honored to have met him. It was going to be dope. You got him? I think I do. Hold on. Let me click on his name. Make sure I'm not showing everybody's stuff. 
We make sure I ain't showing. I'm just showing his. Okay, here we go. Let me come back to you, and then I'll share my screen. Right? Yeah, I don't know how to. This is new. I to think me. it's. Let me see. I see something. Yeah. I just want to share. Let me see what tab I want to show. Hold on, that profile one. Let me make sure that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get me caught up. What's the link? You just showed us everybody's stuff. No, nope, not today. Not today. Okay. Can you see? Okay, let me put it on. I don't know how to do this. So I'm just going to put it on the screen. Oh, we did it. Woohoo. Yeah. So, all right. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see her screen? Y'all can say yes, put a one. If you can see two for a no. <laughs> I can see it. I don't know if they can see it. Let's see. I'm scared to. I, I'm going to come back over. One. Oh, so what? the darkness, yes. The Keisha, okay. yes. Keisha, what's up, Queen? Hey, you can get bigger, please. Um, uh, I don't know how to do that. I. It's the biggest on my screen. It's like a whole tab. Let can y'all see. see that now? Is it too small still? Still too small? Okay, hold on. Yes. Yeah, I think that's about as bigger as bigger. Oh my gosh, that's about as big as this. That's that's did, yeah. that's exactly how I see it on my screen. Um, yeah, what I can do, if I if I um, zoom in, if you may lose some of the words. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, if I could take this off, maybe if I can, maybe I'll take myself off. I got you. I see our questions. Control and plus sign. Yeah, to increase it, but I use a Mac. This is my first time using a Mac, y'all, so I don't know what I'm doing. Let me try. All right. Okay. How is that? It's all on a Mac. It's um the little funky squiggly plus. plus is that better? Can y'all see? Oh, that's better. Can y'all see that? Ones, yeses, please, twos, noes. Plans would be in it's can and cannot do. Yeah, awesome. Yes. Okay. Shaylin says yes. Okay. Ones. Thank you, Tabitha. Appreciate you. JH says it's blurry. Much better. Better. Awesome. Thank y'all. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm here. <laughs> I added the dollar size. Over a thousand long closings completed. All right, so where's his profile? Thank you, Nikita. This is it. Oh, that's it right there? That's mm -hmm. on Skype order? Yep. Okay. So this is what I see when I am looking. Bonded, by Burke. Oh, if he's by Burke, okay. Mm-hmm. Reverse mortgages. So where's his profile where he's actually talking about himself and what he can right here. Twenty four seven to cover all your closings in general notary. Please be advised that Virginia notaries are not allowed to collect or hold them. Okay. So this is his COVID nineteen blurb. Yep. Mm hmm. Uh, we disinfect the pens, clipboards that the client will use or provide. I'm gonna take a daggum screenshot. Like I'm just saying, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, right there. I'm a notary yep. committed to attention to details. All docs shipped out the same out on time. The best mm -hmm. part of me is I'm fully open to performing signings. Yeah, that's dope. Ooh, he put the Tilla Respa certified. Yes. All right, Griff, I see you. We see you. So, and then he has the signing companies down there. This is huge. Yes. With you. When you when you have companies that you've worked for, if you could put that in your profile, that'll let people know that you know what I mean. Like that's mm -hmm. I like that part. Okay. Yeah, I I haven't seen that, so that is um oh, cool. that's pretty cool. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Thank you, Griff, for allowing us to pull up your profile. So I'm going to segue into the next question. As a loan signing agent, right? Mm -hmm. um, what what are typical do's and don'ts that you should and should not be doing? When you're signing up to signing companies, right? Let me change this direction of this thing. 
You hear me? Yes. Okay. Typical. I didn't think typical. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, typical do's or don'ts when you're signing up. Um, I would say, you know, be um, your your fees are your fees, right? Nobody can tell you that you shouldn't charge whatever your amount is, mm -hmm. whether it's some consider it high, whether some consider it low. Know know your fees, uh, whatever they may be, and and if you have wiggle room, then be willing to um, negotiate that. If the, if it is what it is then be willing to um, be prepared, be, be okay with the no. I think um, you have to be okay with the no. Oh, well, that, that's a little bit more. And don't beat yourself up about it. Just know that for that signing company that you may not be um, their, their audience, right? <laughs> because right. your fees might be a little too high for them. And it's not that you're not worthy of your fee. It's that maybe they're not getting that much. So, because I think a lot of times, and I saw it in um, a group on Facebook, um, signing services are also trying to um, look at their bottom line as well, right? Yeah. And it's not necessarily trying to shortchange the, um, the signing agent. So right. I was just say, be cognizant of that. Be cognizant of your relationship. If you want to have one with that signing I service. So if you want to, that's just a job and you're going to move on. Like, yeah, yeah. 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 So if, if, it, if you want to have a relationship, then nurture that and then build that. Um, if you don't, then still do what you were hired to do and just, and just keep it that way. If you're signing up, I would say, like we mentioned before, be honest, um, your profile. People have a way of finding things out. So don't think everything is a, um, is a secret. Um, make sure that you have your documents in a row. It, nothing is expired. You want everything to be current. If they ask for a background check, then provide the background check. Go through. I've I've done some of those thirty plus packages. You know when you're signing up for a signing service, and I'm just like, oh, I just want everything in my life. I don't remember all of that. But if but I I wanted to work with them, so I took the time to go through their package and make sure that I um, answered all of their questions. Um, don't leave anything for for guessing. Um, because we will come up with our own answer. <laughs> so you don't want to leave anything open to interpretation. You want to be clear, um, concise, and succinct anytime that you're filling out an application, anytime that you are calling um, a signing service. Luckily for me, for signing order is just saying, hey, you know, I want to be part of your preferred notary network, and I use the documents that are on signing order. Um, to see. And I don't have a problem with um, having someone be a preferred notary. That just means I have someone that I can call on or to, you know, in that area to be able to um, close out loans for me. And, and but I will say that I want to make sure that they're they're good to go. It's important and hopefully it's important to know how to use the platform that you're accepting orders on. If you don't know how to upload the signing order, if you don't know how to confirm your appointment or say you left a message, that is really important. Um, I did a quick um, tutorial on that because I find a lot of signing agents don't understand how important it is to communicate through the platform. So um, definitely, if you're signed up on several platforms, definitely find out how they work um, so that you don't have the signing service or the title company calling you, asking you questions or sending you a message when it's something that could have been taken care of had you known how to use the platform, such as confirming the appointment. I've had some signing agents wait days. I'm like, what? Is, 
Can you can you please confirm? I mean, it's just you just calling and saying putting it on their radar. I'm trying to figure out why it's taking a couple of days. I I can also see when you look at the order. I'm like, they they so they, they, they hit the button. They said they wanted it. Why they haven't even looked at it yet? I'm I'm sitting here trying to figure out how, like, and I'm trying to think about myself when I um was out there um doing um, my um, appointments, and I'm just like. But why, if you had time to click the button, and they're probably clicking the button and being in another signing, right? <laughs> so they can't really look at it as yet. They just you saw it pop up on the phone. Yeah. yeah. So, so, <laughs> pop up. Oh, I got to get that one while you're at the signing table. Yes. I'm right. one of them. I've done it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, look, look, I, I've done it too. Oh, I like that's the, I know that address. I know that too. Uh, all right. I'm good. And so then I put it down. But you, you get a two hour grace period before I have an automated email come out and say have, and I send out an email asking you, have you confirmed your appointment? And still, so don't still. even confirm the appointment. And I'm just like, I just want to know that you saw the order that you made an attempt to reach out to the, um, to the client, because to me, that is confirming your responsibility. You're able to be responsible for an assignment that you've taken. If anything that takes outside of that two, we're talking about days, then I don't know if you are really the right fit for um, for the appointment that you've been just assigned. So I have a question. So when you're a, when you're a, um, a loan signing agent, right, mm -hmm. and you have um, a signing that's I don't know a week from today. Do you expect them to pick up the phone that day and say, hey, we have an appointment for next week? Or is it OK to wait a couple of days to call them? Or do you just simply want for them to call right then and there so it's on the borrower's radar? Because I've done that before and I've called like a week in advance and then I'll call again like a day before, two days before, whatever. Say, hey, I'm just you know reconfirming that you're aware. Blah. What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. OK. We just talk. Right? <laughs> like you said, you was good. Like yes. So how do you how do you, how do you navigate that right? Because I have a lot of borrowers that don't want me calling early because they'll forget. Well, Ty, can you just make sure you just call me again the day of? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll call you the day of then instead of wasting that. That week, oh, if that makes okay. sense. Yes, it does. So ideally, I. And then sometimes it's not just me. I would like for you to call right away because sometimes I'll have the title said. Hey, has this appointment been confirmed? Because the docs may depend on if that signer has confirmed the appointment. So if you're waiting until the day before to confirm the appointment, then what? Guess what? Your docs may not be ready <laughs> in time for that appointment. So if you're calling as soon as you get the order or within two hours, even though it's a week away, just call and say, hey, you know, I just wanted to let you know we have an appointment scheduled for your closing, you know, your spill. Yeah. And then and then come back to signing order and say the appointment is confirmed. My client sees it. They're like, yay, let's move forward. Let's continue processing the documents. Because sometimes I'll get it from the sign. Hey, did the notary reach out to the signer to confirm this appointment? Hey, do we know if this appointment is going to happen? Hey, is the signer available at this time? So it's not all the time the signing service that wants you to confirm the appointment. Sometimes it's the title company. Yeah, because they want to make sure that this is going to close and that they're not um um, spending an exorbitant amount of effort just to find out a day before the client is going out of town. Okay. When that could have been alleviated a week ago. Yeah, because this is the thing, because I always talk about notary go, but they suck. Okay. But they they give they give people business. They don't care if you're new. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that I can't stand, one thing I can't stand about Notre Go, even though they give me a lot of their business, is they won't answer the phone when you call, but they will mm -hmm. call you to make sure you made the confirmation <laughs> of your appointment. And I literally say, hey, so you can call me to confirm if I confirm the appointment, if I mailed you back the documents, but you can't pick up the phone to answer a question when I'm at the table. I don't understand. Right. So. Yes. So I think it's important that when you're when you're a loan signing agent, you have to understand who you're working with and what their expectations are. So mm -hmm. then when you get an assignment, you're not wasting time or or not having enough time to do what you need to do. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So people have questions. Yes. People have questions in regards to vetting. I think that somebody got a vetting sheet or something. Um, hang on. A company. OK, here it is. 
E.L. Tor. E.L. Tor says, a company accidentally sent me their vetting sheet and was harsh. They were checking for things I had never considered before. Is there such thing as a vetting sheet? Have you ever heard of that? So um, I, I, I can only guess what that, <laughs> what that vetting sheet looks like. Um, it was probably saying, probably asking maybe how many closings they've done. What does their feedback look like? Did they show up on time? Um, how were they dressed? Um, could you hear their music before they got to your house? I don't know. You know, it could, if it's, if it's harsh, you know, things you probably didn't even think of Were they, did they arrive early and just sit in their car? Were they, uh, were they polite at the table that they administer the oath, you know, before doing or whenever, um, during the signing, did they introduce themselves? Did they identify themselves with some type of ID? Um, you know, I could, I could probably, that might be part of the vetting sheet. Um, do they have um, a certain amount of ENO? Um, have they worked with this company before? If it was harsh, I really can't imagine. I can't be, I mean, there are certain things I do look for when I am vetting. And this, mine yeah. is, mine is, a, is a visual. And so, you know, I have, I was fortunate enough to be able to hire two employees. So I'm working on, and they're getting the hang of it. They know what I like to see in a profile and what, um, so why depending on the signing. But why can't they disclose that? Why can't they disclose <laughs> what is required of a loan signing agent versus a loan signing agent doing something and then finding out that, hey, we're no longer going to use you. We just going to go dark on you. Right. And then you're wondering why you're not getting signings from this company. So also the signing agent may need to look at the code of conduct. Hmm. Did they did they because as a signing service, I do have um, a code of conduct, but it's up to you if you actually go take time to look at it or how you should perform or act during a signing. Um, so if. So just ask your signing service, hey, you know, and then, you know, we have the the um, code of conduct that's set up by the NNA, right? So if you are curious, maybe go back to that, um, that company and then look a little bit deeper. You may find, you know, their terms and conditions and things of that nature and then see, did you happen to violate any of those and be like, oh, because they may have reached out to the client, you know, to get feedback based on based on your own performance. And it could be such a simple thing as, yep, she picked up her phone. So anytime I'm in a signing, it's full disclosure on why I'm picking up my phone. Hey, I'm just picking up my phone to call the I title do. company. Yep, I did the same thing. Full disclosure, because yep. if you pick up your phone, then then what are you doing? And we know we have some we have some signing agents that be posting in the Facebook group while they at a signing. So Crazy. if you ain't calling somebody, then you might want to say full disclosure. I'm picking up my phone because I'm not sure, <laughs> or I'm looking for who to contact because you have a question. That really should be the only time that you're picking up the phone. Um, yeah. And like I said before, you know I have a uh, Apple Watch, iWatch. I'm not sure the proper name, but um, you know, it buzzes. And so I will be flicking my wrist to look at it. Right. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just being nosy, you know, like, oh, who sent me a message? And so one time a signer was like, oh, you must be busy. You're checking your time. Are we holding you up? You ready to go? I'm like, oh, no, no, no I just, I just wanted to see. I was just trying to see who emailed me. So, so I have to make a conscious effort to not flick my wrist and look at my phone during the signing because I don't want to give the wrong impression. And sometimes it can be all about your, your nonverbals. Um, I've got called out on my nonverbals, such as making a face. And it wasn't anything. Nonverbals. Or, what like, yes. So if I'm at a signing and I'm looking at a piece of paper, I'm like, because I haven't seen it before, or it may it may right. be um, a new document that I haven't seen before. So I'm trying to grasp 
and understand it so that I can present it properly. And so I'm just, I may be looking at it like, and they'd be like, oh, is everything okay? Oh, my bad. I'm just trying to make sure that uh, I'm giving you the correct information when I put this document in front of you. They're like, oh, okay, because your face was saying something totally different. So definitely watch your nonverbals because they are really, really watching you. Uh, and maybe somebody told them to because of history with right. the NSA. So maybe their title company said, hey, when this notary come there, I need you to make sure look for all of these things. They probably do. And, do, they do? Yeah. <laughs> like, they're probably, they're probably yeah. saying, hey, see if she pick up her phone anytime during this process. Right. You know, right. it could be it could be anything. And it's not to to get it's not to get a notary off the list. It's to find out who is serious about their business, who is there to provide the best customer service possible, who actually knows how to present the documents, who, who is taking it seriously. And so I think that's probably why they do that. Are there, are there different, so I have Griff's question on the, on the screen. Are there different requirements for a title lender company versus a signing service, right? So are there different, yeah, that's the question. Talk about the signing company client requirements for NSA. Yeah. Um, Cause the signing service is the middle, they're just the middle, the middle. Man. They don't really, they're just facilitating, right? But it's yes. really the lender and title company that's controlling the signing company, which is then talking to you. Yes. So pretty much whatever. Um, I will say that my clients, I'll, I have one client who has very specific detailed instructions. And he even had to say to me one time, hey, Salathia, can you make sure they don't send back cutoff documents? What? Who's doing no, that? Who is printing documents and, and just missing all the bottle? Yes, and so freaking, those are way out <laughs> like, and those profiles of hey, do's and don'ts that what you should and should not be doing, right? Yeah. But somebody like, messed up along the way. Yes. And yeah. that's why they get so long. Right. Uh, mine at uh, mine at first was like, good. hey, just just sign with blue or black ink and put a copy of ID. I mean, and then as the errors came, oh, okay, make sure you ship it on the same day. Yes. If your if your signing is at 10 o'clock, you should be able to make the, the shipment today. You know, I had to start saying, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna take out $25 if you can't if you <laughs> if you miss the if you miss the um okay. So but why you? Sh but you're taking money out of my pocket because of no. a mess up. Is no, that but fair? yes, that's totally fair because you totally. could be costing me a client because you didn't right. want to to drop the documents yeah. on time. Because okay, put out a number out there and be like, "Hey, I'm gonna take twenty dollars. I'm gonna take thirty dollars if you, you know what I mean? Or is there a set price? Or there's no because there's no governing law over this sector. You know that, right? Okay. Yep. Right. Yep. So it's whatever I feel is um, reasonable. And I, tr and, I, and I try to stick with, with the $25. If you don't give me the scan backs immediately um, after closing. And I, and I understand you may have an appointment two minutes right after you finish mine. But you have to be good stewards of your time as well. If you know my order requires scan backs, then maybe you, maybe you don't want to take one that it starts right after mine or maybe mine came in the middle and so i do try to be understanding of the scan back requirement and that sometimes there may be a delay but i also have really good signing agents that may be like hey Salethi, it may be a couple of hours before you get this back because i have to run to a signing great you communicated that i understand it i get it but but when you go radio silent i'm like <sighs> But can I just get the documents? Are you going to ship them? It just leaves so... You're putting me in an uncomfortable position to have to explain to my client that, hey, I haven't heard from the notary. It's been four hours since the closing. I don't even know if they dropped the documents. Oh, Lord. So, you, so I get it. Notary signing agents are like, why are they hounding me? Why are they bothering me about, you know, dropping or scan backs? It's because you are you potentially having me lose a client and and possibly you lose a client right because 
that I, that client could have just been all in your area, right? I could have yeah. been just assigning all in your area and giving them to you and giving them to you and giving them to you. But because you felt like scanning or dropping on time wasn't important enough for you to do, now you're losing money and now I'm losing money and we all sitting here like this. Right. <clears throat> So I just I just hope everybody understands how important it is to have the relationship and to communicate effectively often and often. Yeah. <laughs> Be- yes. yeah. yeah. If yeah. something comes up, hey, Slaphy, I can't get these back. My scanner is is on the fritz. Can you give me a couple more minutes to get it to you? Oh, OK, I got it. Just just don't leave me out in the dark because then I'm like. I don't know if I want to work with them again. And that's just being honest. That's, yeah. that's the, and that's how, and that's how it goes. Okay. I think I have a delivery coming. Can you hold one second? Yeah. I just want to answer this. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Are you here? Or Yes, I can. Okay. You'll just be dropping it in the garage and someone will be be there to meet you. All right. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm getting a new chair. Oh, sorry. (laughs) Sorry. 25 minutes away. So so people people have been asking in regards to like scan backs and uh, I'm going to put up some questions here or just some statements up here in regards to scan backs and why do you have to have scan backs? For me, I will never do a scan back, ever. It is time consuming. Um, if your scanner wants to go on the fritz, you have to start all mm-hmm. over again. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's somebody says, I love scan backs because it keeps me accountable. Listen, I hear you, thing, but uh, I don't like them. You got to pay <laughs> <laughs> like for real like if somebody says hey ty can you take this job i literally say are there scan backs yes there right. are okay additional 25 dollars. okay ty no right. problem cool because either you're going to accept that or you're going to move on to the next person that can do it for you you mm-hmm. know what i mean so somebody asks what is the point of doing scan backs um sometimes um it can help with same day funding sometimes the loan has to close that um that day that you got the documents and that you're doing the loan closing. Um, If it's a late appointment, then maybe it needs to close the following day, but your FedEx shipment isn't going to make it there in time. So, and then sometimes they just want to make sure you did the job right. And if they need to know if you, they need to send you right back out to fix it before you give them the documents. Uh, (laughs) uh, Because I've, I've caught um, errors because of scan backs. And and my clients have caught errors because of scan backs. And so then we're calling the notary and saying, hey, can you um can you can you go back out and fix this? Because they didn't initial the bottom of the page. Who's so, diamond? The notary or the title company? Uh say the first part. Whose dime is it? So if the notary messed up and you call me and I missed the signature, I missed the stamp. Mm-hmm. Okay, Ty, unfortunately, you have to go back out because you X, Y, Z. Is it up on me to pay for that shipment or whatever? Because it's going to be because I've already, you know, I, I have to go. Do I do I take that on my dime? Or are you guys going to, for instance, if I already shipped the documents and I missed it, do mm-hmm. I have to put it back on my dime? Or are you going to send me another label? And or do I say anything to you? Okay. So I've seen it both ways. I've seen, I've had a client, you know, do a shipping label and say, Hey, you know, here's a shipping label label for the documents that were missed. Or they may say, just send the scan back. We'll just, we'll just accept the scan. But if none of those things happen, then it is on the notary mm. to send it back. Does the notary know that? Cause some um, people, like, I'm not paying for nothing. I'm not doing well. It. Well, if you, if you made the mistake, Right. It's it's not if you make the mistake, then you that's where you just have to own up to it and be like, God, dog, that was my bad. You that's know, and, yeah. and 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 then oh, yeah. and then just and then just send it back because again, it what's more important? You 
you building that relationship or having a relationship and getting more future business because you owned up to it, you were responsible and right. And, or you just going to be like, well, to heck with it. Oh yes. I've had those to heck with it. One of my employees was telling me about it to heck with it. She had uh, a couple of weeks ago. I was just like, (laughs) so then it's no longer the notary's dime. It's my dime. Mm. Right. Because I can't go back to the title company and say, well, my notary messed nope. up. So now I need an extra $50 to send yeah, out a new know. notary. Now mm. I'm losing because now I had to send out another notary at a reasonable rate. While it may only be one document or two that they need to fix, I still can't be like, hey, Ty, you want to go out there for $10? I mean, it's just one stamp. Right. <laughs> because you don't be looking at me like I'm crazy. What? You know, so <laughs> so. <laughs> So I've lost, I've, I've, I've lost, I've lost money because notaries didn't want to, um, I've lost no, because notaries didn't want to fix um, their mistakes. I've lost because of overcompensating um, because I want to make sure that the notaries as well feel appreciative of the efforts of going the extra mile. Yes. So, so there, so I don't hesitate to increase like I've had uh, a notary say, we sent her documents while she was on the way to the appointment. I said, oh, Lord, now I got to call her and tell her there are more documents to print. So, you know, I'm calling her and I was like, hey, uh, <laughs> so they just sent over some new documents. <laughs> so can you go get a print? And they were like, well, can I get it printed here, here? I, I, I just need you to get the new documents printed. And mm-hmm. how much is that going to cost me? So... Uh, and then they'll tell me. And then more than likely, it's all it's reasonable. I've had a few unreasonable requests, uh, but more than likely, it's reasonable th- okay. in order to compensate them for their time. So I like to be on the front end of on the compensation. Like if I know something has changed since I've given you that order, then I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, increase your fee, what? you know, to to compensate because I don't it's better for me to do it than to get that email. Be like, well, this is now 200 pages. I'm going to need some extra money. And I'm like, y'all, I'm only human. So the, the faces you're seeing today is what I see sometimes when I get these messages. <laughs> or, you know, it's like, it's like, well, give me a minute. I'm going to take care of you. Like, like, give me a minute. But it could just be that they've never been taken care of before. So it's exactly. late to get to so Salathia exactly. is getting the well, you won't pay me you this extra money. Yeah. Like, let me give me a chance to, give me a chance. You know, I want to make sure that um that is fair for um everyone. Now I'm not saying I'm out here offering everybody $150. No, 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 no. So but I do try to make it um fair and yeah. to compensate, you know, for certain hours of the day, if there are scan backs, you know, those types of things. So uh, I just try to be fair. So Takesha says, what if the job discloses scan backs after the confirmation? She said, this has happened to her. What do you do? Yeah, I've, I've had that happen to me. And I'd be like, God, no, they were scan backs then. Yeah, I was, I'm serious. That's the side of service I'm getting. I was like, you need that for scan backs? So now I got to call the notary and be like, hey, you, can, can you can you scan back? Do you have that capability? And I'm crossing my fingers and hoping they saying yes. So what they and, say and, and and they if they say no, they then I, I I'll call my client and be like, hey, you know, this particular notary isn't able to provide scan backs. So what I may have to do is compensate that particular notary for whatever they've done for the job, if they've already printed the documents, if they've already completed the closing, then all of a sudden now they need skin backs. Right. So I so like, oh, I don't, don't know what to do. And so I do have to make my client aware, but if they disclose it after and they are able to, then I just offer the comp- uh, additional compensation for the scan backs because the terms have changed after I um, requested the, uh, the notary. Okay. okay. So, it seems like people are lacking information. Like we're just, you know, I love the casual conversations. You know what I mean? <laughs> so this is what I want to do. I want to get some questions in real quick. Okay. Um, 
And then uh, we do have some giveaways. So Lathia is going to be giving some giveaways. Uh, we'll do that at the top of the hour. Um, so let me just try to go through some questions. There was one question that I see right now that says, why did you become a signing service being so new into the industry? What made you become a signing service? Um, because I like helping. I am so much in the background. I like being in the background and 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 having things happen or making things work or putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Um, so that's why I decided to do the signing service. Um, and I thought it would be it would be great for for my business um, because I'm always sometimes to my dismay, I'm always thinking big picture. Right. How can I grow? Um, because I I don't like complacency. So I was like, okay, what's the next logical step? Right. Okay, so I I did general. I still do general notary work all day long. I love general um, notary work. It's everything. Yeah, <laughs> I'll I'll do that all day long. Yeah. But um, as a as an NSA, I enjoyed it. I I loved it, and but I am such an introvert that sometimes it is it's a little bit much like, I think, I don't know how people do 10 and 12 appointments a day. That's, that's, that's people that's overload crazy. for me. That's, that's people overload. That's so crazy. I did, I did, I think I had four in a day. One was a Ron and then I had three in person. I, I was ready to go to bed by the time I went home because of the energy it takes for me to, to, um, to be around people. <laughs> I mean, that, for lack of a better term, because I'm such, oh, I'm so introverted. I'm so introverted that <laughs> it's, it's sometimes it, it's, it's a little bit of, of a challenge and there's not anything wrong with the people. That's all Salathia. That's just all in me. And that's just my mindset. Um, because I want to make sure I do everything right all right. the time. Yes. And so I, I don't like errors. And so it is, I mean, I make them, that don't mean I have to like, yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> but, and so to limit my, um, my signing streak, right? Because I was, I was doing good. And then Amrock said, Hey, boo boo, you forgot something. What? No, I didn't. You're going to have to prove I forgot that. <laughs> they proved it. And so I moved on. And so I was like, Oh, my bad, Amrock. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. I won't do it again. But, you know, it's, I wanted to make sure that as a signing agent that I, that I was still at the top of my game when I decided to do um, the signing service because I didn't want to be, uh, I wanted to do it while I was still high, while I was still motivated, while I was still good and still interested. Yes. 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 Yep. Okay. That makes sense. So Clyde had a question. He says, mm -hmm. Uh, what areas of the country does dotted line signing serve? We serve all areas of the country. I will say that um, we do mobile notaries, and I also have uh, a fabulous team of remote online notaries that um, I rely on for those particular closings. But we do um, we do all of the all over the country. I, with a little bit of a disclosure, there are. Um, some states I did, I did remove um, from offering services too, and that's because they are. Um, so I, I, I mean, you know, we're here, so I might as well tell you. It's because they are, um, they are attorney states, and so I'm conflicted when it comes to attorney states being a notary, because why? I, and the reason why is because. I may know something about your state and then I'm assigning it to you and you don't come back requesting that information. Like if I know that you need a lawyer present, physically present, and then you're on the side telling me, oh, they can do it by Zoom or they can do it by phone. And, and I know different. That didn't sit well with me. But I can't tell you, you know, that they have to be present yeah. with you. So that didn't that that went against what I believe in how I feel, because if I know something and you're telling me something different, 
then I'm like, how can I practice integrity and knowing that you're doing something? I don't want to put you, be the one to put you in a position of losing your commission, basically, because you aren't doing. And, and I don't have the time or the bandwidth to be able to interpret your laws as far as it pertains to be, if, does the attorney have to be there? Can it be on Zoom? Can it be on the phone? Do, can it be in another state? Can it be in your state? Is what if the property is somewhere else and there you're sitting here in the attorney state? There's so yeah, it's too it's too much and and sometimes the title companies don't know. Really? Or or maybe they do know and they just want to see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> and maybe the um and maybe the um. The notary doesn't know. Mm -hmm. So, but if I know, then is it incumbent upon me to tell that notary? And so I don't like being in that That's situation. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't like that gray area. Cause it seems like the attorney states are very, I don't know. I don't want to say intricate, but they're very, there's something different about those type of states that you have to deal with. And I know there's a lot of loan signing agents that have a lot of time or a lot of issues obtaining signings in signing services, not signing services, in attorney states. Um, but is there any way to circumvent that where you can have loan signing agents that can actually get work in attorney states? Because some people say they're thriving in attorney states and some say I'm not getting nothing. So yeah, I've seen, I've seen it thrive. And I will say, I think where I, um, when I made the, the decision, it was only probably a couple of weeks ago. If that and really, I was going. I, and yeah, it was. I was going back and forth in my head based on something the notary said, and I was like, "But that's not how I know it to be." Mm. But I'm not a lawyer, so right. maybe the the notary was correct, but it didn't align with what I believe to be true for that particular state. And so, and so, I couldn't say that she was wrong. You know, but she could, yeah. she knows her state, right? She knows better than me, but I will say that they, they're, they are thriving because they have taken the time to develop the relationships with the attorneys. It, it's great if I can call a notary and say, Hey, do you have an attorney that you can work with to help facilitate this closing? Mm -hmm. And if they say yes, then we're great. Um, I think a couple of weeks ago, my, um, uh, my Deborah, she was calling all attorneys, calling all notaries. And sometimes it's just hard to, to make that connection, to um, have the attorney available. So I, I opted out for now. I can't say that's going to be the way. All attorney well, states? All attorney states. So that's North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. Is that Massachusetts. It? Massachusetts. Is New York one? I thought New York I was think, and, and And see, and I think there are eight. Look, I'm holding up seven fingers, y'all. Y'all didn't see that. I think, how many? Eight. <laughs> I think there are eight. Um, and, and, and it was just, it was, I think I made the decision on good faith and not a rational decision, but it's always something that I can revisit. But I saw the question said about, um, about tell them what's required by law because I'm not a lawyer. So I can't, I can't interpret their laws for them because then that would be uh, unauthorized practice of law. I can read it and come up with my own conclusions, but I can't tell them, Hey, you are, um, you're supposed to, I can tell them, don't get me wrong. I can tell them all day long, but and it's reading the message, but it's up to them how they interpret it, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I just didn't feel comfortable. I get it. I mean, attorney states yeah. are very finicky. I mean, it, you know, it is what it is. So all of you that are asking in regards to uh, attorney state, if you live in one, she is not in attorney states at this time. There are a lot of questions for you, Salethi, in regards to mm -hmm. how to work with your company. So how do people do that? You know, I, I, and I very rarely... I don't put that out there. Uh, I, I don't. And, but I have a lot come up. I have a lot come up over the weekend. I was like 40, how are people finding me? Because I don't, it's not that I don't want people to sign up. It, it 
Yeah, so um, I will get you the link and drop it in. I'll pass it over to um, Ty once I um, get the link to have you sign up. It's, it's, it's nothing fancy. You just put your name on an email. It shoots me an email and I'll say, oh, okay. And then I go scope out your profile. <laughs> I'm going to creep you your profile. <laughs> okay, awesome. Where are we at? We're at the top of the hour, Salethia. Do you want to keep going because there's questions in here or do you have a time stop? Oh. What, do you, what do you want to do, Queen? No, my, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I have the, okay. the delivery will be fine. Yep, I'm good. Okay. Takesha says, Salathia is a serial entrepreneur. I'm just trying to be like you. <laughs> like I am a serial. Like, yeah. <laughs> I bet, oh, don't let, don't let Takesha fool you. She, <laughs> I met her when we were in the, um, in the um, virtual assistant world, when we were doing Ooh. VA work. Yes, VA yes, work? yes. Really? Uh, so, so how that started is, yes, I'm going to be, be a VA. I like helping people. Then I realized, I still like sitting in the background. So let me connect this VA with this person that needs that resource, right? I'm still, so it's while the signing service is new, me being in the middle is not new for me, if that makes sense, because yeah. I've always found myself, I found, I find comfort being in the middle because um, I do like relationships and, and networking and thing and building relationships, genuine and authentic. And I know that's that's being said a lot, but I look back at one of the websites I created in 13 or 14, and I was like, I was saying that back then. I was, I was, I was, I was on the something, you know, seven years ago, right? And somebody probably said it seven years before that, but I'm gonna take, you know, that I've been this way for, for a hot minute. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> but yes, yeah, you know, being in the VA world, um, yeah. I am a single parent advocate, moms nice. and dads. So nice. I so I um ventured into um uh, working with uh, single parents. So yes, a serial right. entrepreneur. Thanks, Keisha. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Another question, Clementy, how are you, Queen? When orders require scan back, should you always get approval before shipping? If so, what is the acceptable amount of time to wait for a response? Um, I have some clients that say, just drop them. And then some do want to review. I would say, depending on when you go, if you're going to make that shipment. Right. If you if you're going if you're at risk of missing the shipment because you're waiting on approval, just let the signing service know. And then if they don't get back to you timely, then you may have to use your best judgment and pray that and look over that package one more time before you actually drop it off to make what sure that there are no errors. One hour, um, two hours. Um, it'll probably be based on based on your schedule. You know, if you know that you have a signing coming right up after you did that that scan back, then you might have a little bit of leeway to wait until you complete that signing so that you can still make make that same day drop. If it's at night, then you might have a little bit longer to wait because you're not dropping it until the next morning, ideally at a man FedEx or UPS location. <laughs> not a drop box, y'all. Not a drop box. Not yeah, a drop I think box. a lot of people do a lot of drop boxes. Like they'll go to Walgreens. Because they have FedEx places in the Walgreens. I don't understand why they do that. Is it just because they can't get to the station or they think it's okay to drop it at Walgreens? Because I've seen on profiles for notaries, it says don't drop in a drop box. Like it's in big red and highlighted in yellow, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that why they don't like I that? I do um, because there may not be um, tracking. Um, uh, you may not have tracking um, information if you drop at a Walgreens. I'm not sure. I haven't dropped at a Walgreens. Take a picture of the tracking number before you drop it. Can you not do that? But then who who who's taking care of it? I, I don't know who's who's watching the package. I know I know that they say no Walgreens. Um, but I will say that I used to drop at Office Depot for FedEx, and then because I would get the receipt. You know, mm -hmm. saying that I did drop it off. It's not the FedEx receipt; it's the Office Depot receipt. But best believe, I knew when my last pickup was for my man station, 
and I knew what time that Office Depot was going. And if Office Depot got in and pick up by 5.30, 5.45, I'm going over there to pick up my package and drop it off at the actual FedEx um, about 20 minutes away because I know their last pickup time is at 6.45. But if I see it tracking, then, then I'm okay um, with it being there. But if it's not tracking, I'm going to go pick it up. <laughs> yeah. And I, I think this is um, one thing I will say, if, if you get into this, this business of uh, NSA or LSA, all these freaking acronyms, loan signing agent, right? It's going to be important that you know your, your times for your FedExes, for your UPSs. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. A lot of people get in this business and like, oh, I got to go drop it off at FedEx and the guy already came and you, mm -hmm. you know, 30 minutes late. So I think that's going to be important that you even know your routes. Like where's your, the closest FedEx? Where's the closest UPS to this, you know, to this yes. customer? Yes, you know? for sure. Um, do you want to do a giveaway real quick? And then I'll go back and find some more questions. Do a which one? You want to do a giveaway? Sure, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. And you know what? And I got to do a question. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm. <laughs> what question do I want to ask? Um, okay, I got it. Okay. Oh, drive back and scan the documents. Then must drive to FedEx to ship the documents. It takes. I've been there. Yeah, yeah. So probably have to get a mobile scanner. Those are do the you, best. Do you recommend one? I have the Epson ES300W. Epson ESW? 300W, mm-hmm. 300 ESW? Epson. My bad. <laughs> e My bad. E -S no, you're fine. You're fine. E S hyphen 300W. Perfecto. Okay. That's that's the one I recommend. Um, I did a quick little YouTube tutorial uh, okay. based on how I based on how I use it. Um, I I enjoy it. I enjoy. It. There are bigger ones that will hold a lot more sheets, but I'm very um, page count <laughs> driven. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> um. I had, um, I noticed an error one time when I was scanning back some documents mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, I'm missing a whole 20 pages. <laughs> where are those, where are those, where? <laughs> because I was like, I'm, I'm missing 20 pages. The package said it's 150. I'm only scanning 130. Where are the other 20 pages? Oh, you know what happened? I didn't print the last 20 pages because mm. what I assumed was the last document was just a repeated document in the middle of the package. So they had it in the package twice at page 130 and then again at page 150. So when I was pulling it off the printer, I thought it was page uh. 150. And so I was like, oh, okay, we good. Let's go. And so I scanned back. Guess what I did? I called that sign-in service or center message. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I just missed 20 pages. Oh Lord, let me go fix this. And so, yes, I fixed it. Wow. I was not compensated. I did not have the expectation of being compensated for exactly. missing a whole 20 pages. And so wow. then I had to go to the signer and luckily the signer was gracious cool. enough and still available and still around to sign those additional 20 pages. Uh, so from that point forward, I count. I don't care how big the package is. I count what's coming off my printer just to make sure I have the correct number of pages. Yeah, I think you hit a good point on um, the borrower and going back to the borrower and the borrower was cool. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, what I realized, even though I'm, I think I'm an introvert, extrovert, I think I'm both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really don't like people, if I can be honest. Um, Cause everybody's just so, you know, everybody's just weird in their own way, but I do love engaging and learning and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of weird like that. Yes. Um, but when you're a loan signing agent and you're going to these borrowers house, it's just not about 
the document. It's just not about you confirming, it's actually building a connection because you don't know, you may have messed up on something and you're gonna have to go back to their house. Mm -hmm. But if you're a jerk, right? You were unprofessional. No, nah, you can't come in here, Ty, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's important to build that rapport. Yeah, you have to do a job, but it's also build that rapport so that if they do have to go back to a Salathia, oh God, Ty was awesome. She she mm -hmm. did the blah, right? So I think it's important to have that have that in your repertoire of skills, if you will. Yes, I think my very first long signing, not I think, I know my very first long signing. I was too busy because I was nervous, right? Ka -ka -ki -ki, yep. Let's do this, let's do this. Messed it all up. Mess you want to know how I messed it up? It was, you know how they said sign at the top of the 1003-1003, the URL, sign yep. at the top. Well, untrained Oscillathia didn't see the signature at the top. I was looking for it at the top, not under some words. <laughs> and so I had <laughs> so I had the borrower create. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, that. I was like, they said, I was like, they said sign at the top, but ain't no top. What are you talking about? Ain't no place asking for a signature. What? 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 So here we go. Put X's and lies. <laughs> I can laugh now because that was number one. That was number one. That was number one. That was number one. That was that was loan signing number one. The importance. Uh, of training yeah. and learning your time. <laughs> I had them sign and stuff that, that, yeah. And so when, so when that company came back and said, uh huh, so uh, they need to do X, Y, Z, right? <laughs> so they were an hour away, right? So no, if you take one far away, you may have to go back. So, exactly. so think about those as well. So I was yeah. like, Okay, I'm gonna go back out there. And so I get there, and the guy was like, See, I knew you'd be back. I was like, How did you know I messed up those documents? <laughs> How did you know I was coming back? And matter of fact, I had to go back a third time. The third time wasn't my fault, it was because they, they forgot to have the deed in the package. So okay. I was compensated for that one. And that's when I was like, Hey, now y'all send me back out there. This ain't my fault this time. I'm gonna need a little bit more. <laughs> this is an hour away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. But I, I, yeah, you have to be cognizant, man, of all, no. all of that. Salathia, like, yeah, 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 yes, I, yes, I really did make that up. I had, y'all, I, I was, I, I don't know, I thought I was doing a good job, but that's where my nervousness and me talking yeah. too much and trying to put on a, not a show, but you know what I'm saying, trying to show that I'm knowledgeable totally backfired. So mm. from that point on, I limited my conversations <laughs> with signers, not to the point where I'm just like, here, sign, here, sign. Here. Right, right. But I knew I couldn't be as involved um, in the conversation. And when I found myself talking too much, I found myself checking those documents at least four times yes. before I left the table. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. yes. I've been in plenty of conversations where it gets really, because, you know, I'm a musician or whatever. So I've I've met people that were musicians and they have, instruments in their house and all that kind of stuff. So it just goes completely derailed from here. And then I've missed signatures. I've missed stamps just because I was so engaged with the conversation. So I think you have to delineate between the two and be able to manage the conversation and still manage your documents to get your job done. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. all right. So did you figure out your question? Oh, the question is based on our conversation this morning, how soon should you call to confirm the appointment with the borrower? Mm, nice question. I like it. Y'all better get it because whoever answers first will get the prize. And we have a notary signing agent planner, loan signing agent t-shirt. Oh, I want one of those. What's popping? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Somebody, oh, Tabitha, what's up, queen? She says immediately. Is that correct? Yes. Tap with if you win. All right, so you either have a notary signing agent planner or a loan signing agent T. I'm gonna let you talk with Salathia and y'all figure that out. Um, Salathia, do you wanna give your email address? How do you want? Tap yeah, 
you can uh, email me first name Salathia. I think it's it's up here, so I don't have to. Yeah, it's there. Um, Salathia at dlsignings.com. Make sure I have this right. <clears throat> Is that correct? Yep. Okay. That one's perfect. A, please email Salathia. Salathia, can they email you for anything at that, or you don't want people pinging you? What you want? Um, <laughs> no, they can they can email me for anything at that one. Um, okay. I have several email addresses, and that one works. You may get an out of office reply, but it's okay. Just just know I'll respond to your message there. Awesome. All right, let's get back to some more questions and then we have one more giveaway and then we'll get out of here. I appreciate each and every single one of you for engaging, being here on a Sunday uh, with this queen. Uh, I appreciate all the support that you guys are providing. So let's get to the next question. There's so many. So Lathia, I don't know where to go. Uh, I'm getting a lot of knowledge. Dolores, I'm getting a lot of knowledge. Thank you for this information. I You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, what made you become a scientist? Okay, that we got that question. Is there anything else that you can think of in regards to um, do's and don'ts? Um, don't. How can I say it? Um, don't let other people dictate how you run your business. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't let and I say it and I say it you know jokingly but with all sincerity you know sometimes I'll be in the Facebook groups and the the newer notaries are relying on the older notaries or the seasoned notaries or the veterans you know to provide information um and like I said on Friday, you have to be able to practice discernment because not mm. ev everything you hear is for you and not That's everybody true. is for you. So, so I'm going to tell you, you should be asking $150 because I want the job, right? Go ahead and go ahead and count it with that 150 because on the back end, I'm going to take that 65 because you just outpriced yourself and I'm going to still get the job anyway. Right. Yeah. So, so, if you if you are countering everything at whatever whatever you know that fee is and i'm not saying don't counter if that's your fee but not everybody who tells you to counter to get your money to know that's your right. worth that's is right. probably is, are are they practicing that because right. there are situations where there may be a sign that may not warrant uh, a payout of 150 Dollars. If I just need you to go sign a deed, no, no, no. I'll tell you now, I'm not paying $150 for you to go for sign one, a deed. For one, for one signature? For one, for, yeah, for one signature. Why would I pay and so, for that? Right. I don't know. Some people, they do counter for that. Oh, okay. They did. They do counter. And so sometimes I'll I'll go to my trusted group and, and say, because I don't think I always get it right. So sometimes I want to make sure that I'm not missing the boat you know, with what the expectation is as far as, um, you know, being paid for uh, a signing, regardless of the signing. So I'll be like, hey, is is that too much? Should I be, should mm -hmm. I be paying more? You know, because, because I trust that they will tell me the truth, right? Mm -hmm. And so I would, I would just want to say what works for me may not work for you, but I can give you the best tips of what worked for me. And then you can be like, what? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes it has to make sense. It has and to if, make it sense. Do, if it doesn't make sense to you, then don't do it. Then Exactly. Then don't do it. <laughs> you know, not everything um, I said today is going to make sense to you, but hopefully at least one thing did. Right. Um, um, so that's always my goal is to have if I'm talking to someone, just have them take away at least one thing, you know, that I've said that they're able to put into practice or that resonates with them to lend credibility to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. um, because there are people I follow and sometimes they'll say something like, what? Really? I can't do that. <laughs> so then, so then I'll, I'll, I'll listen. I don't, I don't dismiss it, but then I'll, um, I'll definitely listen and say, oh, 
because it may take a minute. Right. Oh, that's what they were talking about when they said this. So don't, I'm not saying that everything you hear is bad. I'm saying is sometimes it may take a minute for it to resonate with you. So allow it to sink in. Just because I say go jump off the bridge, that don't mean you go out there today and jump off the bridge. You'd be like, huh, is jumping off the bridge a good idea? Maybe I should go ahead and do that. You know, yeah, you know, you know, like she said, jump off the bridge. I mean, she seems to be an authority, you know, on jumping off bridges. So I'm gonna go jump now. But if it doesn't make sense for you to jump now, wait a couple of weeks. Wait a couple of weeks and then you know what I'm saying? So yes. allow, allow allow things to sink in um for you. Just because you hear it doesn't mean you have to take action on it immediately. So um practice discernment, allow make sure things make sense for you. Um, because yeah. nobody else can do that for you. Yes. So so definitely. And run your business the way that you need to run your business, whether you're just trying to pay off a debt. So paying off that debt means you take 10 of those $65 and that debt is gone or or whatever that means for you, whatever that looks like for you. Um, but also think about building those relationships, whether they're with signing services, title companies, other notaries. Um, because notaries that know good notaries can refer good notaries. So, you know, build, build your circle and you may have several circles, but you're in the center of it and think about what having a great relationship with each of those circles look like for you, whether it's uh, talking to them daily, whether it's in the email saying, hey, how are you doing? Just checking in. Um, do you have any signings? I do have notaries that call and say, hey, do you have anything in my area? It's either yes or no, but I always appreciate the call. Um, so yeah, I do have some that will call. And as soon as I put an order out, they were like, I said, yes. I said, yes. <laughs> did, you, did you hear me? I said, yes. I said, yes, I'll take it. So I was like, oh, okay, they seem, yeah, they seem like they want to go after it, y'all. <laughs> so they, so I was like, okay, you know what? They called me. They said, yes, let's go ahead and get it. And it took forever for them to confirm the appointment. I said, Lord, why? <laughs> <laughs> but you were so hyped to get it, but you can't right. even call to confirm right. the appointment. Right. If you had two seconds to pick up the phone to call me and say, yeah. hey. Yes. Did you did you can you did you see my yes? yes? Then <laughs> you should have just hung up and two seconds later called the signer and said, "Hey, are you available for this?" I said, "I'm sending you messages." Hey, can you confirm the appointment? That's making me question my decision. Yes. About assigning you that yes. uh, that yes. that closing. Yes. Yes. So so <laughs> that's funny. So with with. <laughs> I didn't know you were, yeah, I was lazy. I didn't know you were. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm just trying to, I, 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 I'm, I can't think that, and maybe it's because, you know, I'm still growing and developing and yeah. working, you know, I'm going to, one day you're going to be like, Slanky, are you going to laugh? <laughs> I don't laugh anymore. Don't you laugh. know, I don't, I don't do that, but um, <laughs> you're going to, it's, and I guess because I'm so intimately involved in yeah. the day to day of my business that that I I see things and that I hear things and I'm just like, wow. wow. And 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 because I did hire two two people, right? And mm -hmm. so I I was like, you know what? They're off work. Let me jump in. Let me do some work, right? They mm -hmm. they they off work. Let me. I messed it all up. I said, you know what? See, that's why I that's hired. Why. That's, that's why I, that's yep. why I hired y'all. And so I'm just gonna sit back and uh that's and not say nothing no more. <laughs> because they were like, I was like, oh gosh, I think I'm doing a good deed. But obviously I wasn't. And yeah. they were they were good sports about it and they were like, We got it, don't worry about it. So it it, it helps to have the, the right people around you at all times. Yeah. I think I think you made I think you made a lot of points in regards to like business and discernment and knowing what you should and should not do. Cause I think a lot of people get into this thing because like, and I say this, I sound like a, a repetitious robot, but a lot of people get into this business because they've seen a commercial mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that says, Hey, you can make 10, $15,000. 
and not really understanding that it's not just about signing up to 300, 400 companies and hoping somebody calls you, but it's being able to set up your business so they want to call you, right? Um, yes. So I think that having the discernment and linking and networking with the right people to elevate you um, into where you want to go as an entrepreneur mm -hmm. is important because mm -hmm. this business can be, I don't want to say it can be grimy, but you can have people that are not in it for the right reasons. You have people right. saying things just to deter you from not getting into it. You get what I'm yes. saying? Like, yes. it's crazy. It's crazy. Yes. yes. So yes. here's a question from, from, from Corinne. She says, what if the notary doesn't charge additional, but instead they act to be preferred? Is there a such thing as that? Uh, if for me, if you don't, if you say, oh, Salathia, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Then I'll be like, oh, OK, she ain't worry about it. So it, it just puts you in a different light. You can say that you could be like, hey, no, don't worry about it. I just ask that you give me a call next time you have something in my area. If that's like acceptable that, for you. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and I'll be like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll be like, oh, OK, that's that's pretty cool of you. Mm -hmm. Um. And I do believe if you take care, and I'm saying my business, right? If you take care of me, then I'm going to take care of you. It's always, it is reciprocal. So anytime you're in a relationship, you want to make sure that it's reciprocated. The give and take is reciprocated. Don't, don't, don't come just trying to take me for all my $150 signings and then, and then, and then that's it. So, that's um, but yes, definitely you can do that. Okay. Lisa Rob, how do you market yourself as a signing service? That's an interesting question. I like oh, that. Wow. that. That is a really great question. Um I will say I I am just about to start actually marketing. So you haven't been marketing service. since you started your business? No, I've just been I just you know how I I've just been blessed and fortunate to have to have um to have great clients that give great feedback That's and amazing. that, um, and they know that I'm going to take care of them. They know that if they call, somebody is going to answer the phone or That's respond awesome. to their text. Um, but now I'm in a position I can take on more because it was just me before. Right. So right. the, me getting 20,000 signings a month, that wasn't, that that just didn't sit on my radar. It was what? just, I'm just saying. 20,000 a month, what? You know, like me wow. getting an exorbitant amount of gotcha. signings a month wasn't um, my expectation because it was just me. And I right. still work full time. So I was trying to find that balance. But now that I'm ready to grow, I have the employees on board. They they understand how the business works. They understand how I work. Now I can really aggressively market myself as a signing service. And I think that's me being a notary signing agent, being an online uh, notary, and um, just being me. I should be able to um, to um, to make it happen. But I am not a marketer. I'm not a sales person. And I'm, so I mean. and right. And so and so that's why I that's why I struggle, and that's why I. You know, I thank all of my um, my clients that keep coming back because obviously the notaries are taking care of me. Even when a notary messes up, I'm like, oh, no, I didn't lost that client. And it'll take a couple of weeks for them to come back. And they're like, we'll give you another chance. Yeah. Well, it's not your fault that you that you picked the wrong person. But so sometimes I sit in silence because I don't know if they're coming back. Mm. But but I've been fortunate enough that they come back, they leave great reviews uh, awesome. and that my notaries are in positions to help. They'll be like, oh, you know what? You work so hard on this one. Here's a couple of extra dollars that I that I do pass right. on to the notary because they they did the work. They, your, your, The hard work does pay off. The hard work does show. The hard work can be rewarded. Is it going to be rewarded every time? No. No. Um, because because someone may not interpret it as hard work. They may interpret it as just doing That's your, your job. job. Right. Yeah. 
but but when they do they are it is so worth it um because then you know that you are moving in the right direction uh especially when i'm doing uh, online notarizations and i have great rons that that persevere through the notarization regardless of what happens they'd be like oh gosh that was that was tough because they will throw situations at you like i don't know how i'm gonna get out of it yeah. um but it's it's the ability to be able to think quickly on your feet and the ability to know enough about what you're doing to be able to provide a solid response where the signer or the title company or the signing service feels comfortable with your response and that you're not just trying to get over. Believe me, we know when folks are just trying to get over. What so, do you mean? So sometimes you you can get a notary to be like, well, you know, all X, Y, Z, the whole world just came crashing. And you'd be like, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, the whole world came crashing. But two days later, now you can respond to me. Okay, right. You know, so it's, so, you know, we know when, like we have to practice discernment. Like, you right. know, when we, when we are working with, um, uh, with um, notaries and and every time you send a notary out, um, especially a new one that you haven't worked with, you do sit there and cross your fingers and hope that everything goes well um, and that the documents are dropped on time, that the scan backs are done timely mm -hmm. and that when they make it to the final destination that the package is great and that the closing is um, successful. Good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I like it. I like it. Sharika, I haven't talked to you in forever, Queen. Yes, how to sign it with you. I think oh, somebody somebody signed up with me and I don't know how they found it. Let me the incognito. You know Yeah. I, I, I really am. And um mm -hmm. Takisha gets on me about how come you don't tell nobody you got notary study service? Because and I think it's because I don't want I'm trying to manage expectations. Well, I signed up with Salafi and I ain't seen nothing from her yet. Well, I just don't have anything over there. You know how people get, I signed up with them 40 days ago and I haven't heard yes. anything. I, I may just not have anything for you <laughs> at that time. So I um so I don't um I don't advertise. Because, a lot. People, because you know, I'm not I'm not a big advocate of signing up to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of signing companies. That's just I just I just don't personally like it but a lot of people will say i've signed up to so many but it's been 60 days why isn't nobody calling me i had my mm -hmm. phone ringing do you mm -hmm. believe that when you do signing companies and you sign up to these companies that they should be picking up the phone saying hey i i just got onto snap docs or i just got onto sign an order i just want to let you know that i'm available i am here do you believe in that or should they just be signing up and just waiting for the phone to ring um i i would say it's always a good idea to to give them time you know maybe they just had a lot i'm not saying don't call but maybe give them a week or two like hey i signed up just want to make sure you got everything i you need and it's all about presentation as well and the yes. way you communicate it so if you're coming from a sincere place then then the hopefully the person on the other side will actually um hear that and you're like hey i just wanted to make sure that you have everything you need um if you have anything in my area then please um then check me out you know or think about me when you do it or am i missing anything you know come from a place of i don't want to say i don't think inquisition of inquiry rather okay. than hey i submitted my stuff a couple of weeks ago why you ain't call me yet you know, come from a place of inquiry, like you're really concerned about the package that you submitted. Did it get lost? Is something right. missing? Yeah, come from a place of inquiry. As I sit here and try to figure out how to how to do it, how to sign, how to sign. <laughs> but people are finding it, and it's just been over the last week. So I'm trying to figure out how are people finding it when I don't advertise it. So you, yeah. you obviously have a website, right? And yeah. it's not, a, it's, I don't, is it on my website? Is it published? My website is published, but I don't 
think I don't think I've signed. I don't think I've put it on my website either. Mm. Yeah, sorry, y'all. I know y'all like, well, how you run the signing service in? And, and, you know, I, and I don't know how to sign. And you can't tell us how to sign up. I'm sorry, y'all, because it's it's on signing order. I have so go to signing order. order. But it's there, but I don't know if you can find me. Hold on. Got it. Line. Kimberly, I haven't gotten anything yet. And I've signed up to hundreds. Of, I, I don't know, Queen. Uh, so you're going to have to just, just wait. I mean, if it's been over a month, I would say reach out and say, hey, I've signed up. Did you get my information? That's one thing I would suggest to you. Yeah. Yeah. You still looking? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I am still looking. Well, are you looking? I have a question for you. Yes. It's loan documents, right? You know that the new 1003, the, the new residential application has changed, right? Mm -hmm. As of, of March. Mm -hmm. Do you know why signing companies are still putting in the old ones and why they still put in the old 4506 in the packages? Do you know why they do that? I do not know why they do that. And it could be whatever the title company or the lender sends over. That's 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 exactly how it's going to be pushed, and I do not know why they haven't all them. haven't adopted the new it's way. Not 2020 on their documents. That's how you know they don't update their documents because it's still <laughs> 2020. Like they're, they're going to catch up by next year. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. They're gonna. Uh, they're gonna. They're gonna. Okay, let me hit. Y'all, I'm still looking for it. I know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I noticed when I signed up with new signing services, I may not get work for a while. Is there something to that? Um, go for it, lady. Um, if if you're not getting work right away, it could be. I'm speaking specifically for a signing order because I'm not sure how the other platforms work. It could be they may already have a um a preferred notary in your area that does an amazing job so they may be afraid of taking the risk um it could be on signing order you're you may not be on page one you may i do i know everybody say don't pay to play i have my own thought about that but well, on signing think, order yeah. you pay the you pay the 2.99 a month and then you kind of you pick up to 20 zip codes that you want to work in. I say only pick the zip codes that you really want to work in. And then you can kind of um, show up a little bit higher on the list based on the zip codes that you put in there. Well, how do you know which zip codes to put in? Um, whatever you want to service. You have 20 for $2.99 a month. You can pick up to 20 zip codes based on where you want to do work. And exactly. then... From there, you you could show up a little bit higher on the list. Um, sometimes it may be that sometimes you aren't the the fastest person to um, to button. respond. Yeah, are you are you at least getting hits or are you just not getting anything? Right. So that's the question, Lisa. If you're still on. Um... Also, with the zip codes, like, like I'm in New Jersey, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I there's several counties that are around here. When you put in um, an order to the masses, and I have a zip code, okay? Mm -hmm. How far out does that zip code go, if that makes sense? So do you go 20 miles from that zip code, like in a radius? Like, how far do you go out? So if I put 08805, mm -hmm. and get somebody that's in, I don't know, 08873, right? Is there a radius of how far my zip code can get me in order for me to get that order? Does that make sense? I think so. So okay. you're saying that if you put in one, two, three, four, five, yes. but the person, another person has put in six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10 or yeah. nine or whatever, then it, is it possible for them to show above you? Yes. It is possible if you're not paying that two ninety nine. If you're paying the two ninety nine, then you should ideally show up before that other person. Interesting. Hmm. Does that make sense? It makes sense. So here's another question: If you have, if I have a house, maybe I'll change this question around. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. If I okay. 
so this this borrower is in Somerset County, okay? Uh -huh. But I am in Middlesex. That's like 30 minutes away, okay? Uh -huh. If I put my zip code in signing order and I'm like 15 miles away from that borrower's home, even though my zip code is not exact as that borrower, will I get that job? Let's just say all the all the checks are done. I'm 299, et cetera, et cetera. Who will it ping based upon the zip codes that I put in if that borrower is like, I don't know, three or four or five zip codes away from me? How far does that that radius go out? Um, usually it, the the standard is 25 miles. Okay. But if nobody within 25 miles shows up, then you can go to 50. It, it can go in increments. It's increments. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You still looking? <laughs> I think I found it. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all don't, don't. It's, I mean, it's, it's really easy. And I know, yeah, yeah. Y'all just, just talk about me offline. Don't talk about me in the comments. <laughs> I'm going to send it to Ty now. <laughs> All right. Antoinette, what's going on, Queen? She says, if I, if a request, if a request comes in, to drop a signing that night and the pickup has already passed is the next day to drop the document. Okay. Yes. As long as you communicate that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think um, we are all aware of the, um, the drop off times being a little bit earlier than normal. Uh, I think the earliest I've seen in some areas is um, four o'clock. Um, but then yeah, you do have to communicate that. So if the order comes in at five or after four, then sometimes we have the expectation that it won't be dropped until the next day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, Tiffany, 2.30 on Saturdays is the last pickup time in my area, although they close at 6 p.m. for all Friday night. We need to know the hours and pickup times for UPS and FedEx. Mm -hmm. That's important. Yeah. Um, yeah. Question, has she ever scanned the client table? I've done it before. I tried and the client was like, no, uh, so she no. ain't got it. You ain't got I it. did. I'm like, hey, do you mind if I scan back? They need to get these documents. Da, 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 da. Sure, Ty. I've done it in the driveway. I was like, hey, I'm going to be oh, out really? here. I'm not lurking. I'm not lurking. I'm just going to be out here in the trunk. I'm, I'm just at my scanner and my laptop. If you want to come watch me, you can. I'm not. I'm not. Because, you know, people see you pop a trunk. They're like, what's she doing? Yeah, what's popping? What's yeah. Popping? <laughs> so I just, I just, I'll scan from the trunk of my car. Do you park in their driveway or do you park on the sidewalk? Like I'm a street park, on the street person. I'm I'm a street parker unless street they give parker. me permission to park in their driveway. Or if I if I don't see other cars parked on the street, then I'll park in their driveway and then ask them if it's okay to park in their driveway. Is that a part of your confirmation when you're calling the customer? Hey, when I arrive, is there a certain place you want me to park? Is it okay for me to park in your driving your driveway? Is that a part of your confirmation when you're Confirming the appointment? Not for me because everybody parks on the street around here. So, <laughs> and for the most part, everybody parks on the street. If it's a random time, I'm like, oh, ain't nobody parked on the street. I don't want to be the eyeball. And then sometimes I don't like parking at the uh, at the end of people's driveways. So then okay. I, I may park in the driveway or around the corner and you know, confirm that it's okay. And most of the time they're like, oh yeah, that's fine. I'm like, is anybody coming? Should I be moving? But yeah, most of the time. Um, Patricia, how much experience do you suggest having before looking to become a signing service? Um, hmm. I would say that you definitely need to be comfortable being in the middle and taking that hit from both sides possibly um you have to i mean i still take things personally sometimes because i'm human right all the time yeah <laughs> but you have to know that it's about getting the deal sealed the deal sealed and not necessarily you as the person you have to so i don't know if there's an experience factor you just have to know how you want to run your business. You have to know that you got a little bit of cushion because you do take some L's, you know, don't go in there with no money. Um, I'm not saying you have to have a whole lot, but you want to have some, you know, to be able to take those L's and, uh, and still keep, um, 
ticking. You have you want to be able to um, be able to talk confidently to your notaries and and your title companies about um, certain expectations and um, and the documents per se. Um, only time I actually talk to notaries is about the notarial verbiage. Anything outside of that, always say, let me check with the client. Um, I, because I'm a notary, so I feel comfortable, you know, talking about that, um, that particular area. Um, I would say, I, and I guess I can't say how much experience because I did it so quickly. I did it within less than a year. Um, but I felt that's, that's, that's my comfort spot, right? Being in the middle. So it was, it was just natural for me to do that. Um, so, so early on and it didn't happen overnight, you know, um, I decided in September, Ooh, this is what I want to do. And I jump y'all. I'm a jumper. I don't, I, I think everything else happens in the, um, yep. in the back. Yep. And so I'm trying to, and that, and that works for me, um, because I am a jumper and, but not everybody can jump. But if that's what you want to do, I'm going to say it, be be prepared for everything that follows. Um, be ready, be set up. Um, I chose signing order because I didn't feel I was in the place to send out packages. I didn't want to be responsible for getting people commissions and background checks and looking all that. So that's why I chose the signing order platform. Now, I still look at the stuff. I just don't want to be responsible Right. for 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 receiving it and that's right now that's right now <laughs> but uh i'm gonna say that caveat right because somebody gonna say remember two years you said you ain't want to do application packages nope i'm saying right now i don't want to do application packages at this very moment but <laughs> but i because um so just have just have the bandwidth just, just you have to be available um I know some some notary, notary call. I may not be able to pick up, you know, right away, but I do try to make an attempt to call back, especially if I know that they're in a signing. I do make an attempt to call back or shoot a text and say, hey, is everything OK? Call right. you at the table um, to see how I can help. I'd have one client. You don't even have to call me. If you have a question about the documents, you you call him directly. He, he, you ain't even got to call me, so I don't even worry about those sides because you you got his number. And at first, I will say that was a little intimidating, right? Because having a signing agent in direct contact with my title company, right? You know, yeah. hey, you don't need to work with Slaky. You can come directly to me. You know, that there was that fear factor there. But I feel very secure in our relationship that um, that I'm good to go on that front. Um so, so I'm so not, the not hmm? Did the E and O insurance increase? Um, I do, I do. Um, my I did, thank you. I did what? increase my insurance. Um, and I have two types. I have the E and O professional liability, and I do have general liability. So I do carry uh, two different insurances as a signing service. And um and so, of course, I pay for it. And um, you want to have a platform um, yep. to be able to assign notaries. You want to have as as smooth of a process as possible. Now, of course, you work that all. You will work that as um, you go along. You want to know. You want to have payment terms and conditions. How they're going to be paid. Mm -hmm. um, how often they're going to be paid. Um, what facilitates payment for you? Um, how do you know to pay them? Uh, and you have to be prepared for, for you know, all different types of personalities. So if you can handle different personalities, then then you might that's be good. If you're, yeah, if you're confident in your um, NSA skills, that's good. If you're confident in the way that you run your business, your bookkeeping, handling documents, um, where are you going to? Where do you keep the documents? Uh, where do they where do they reside? Because there is so much going back and forth. You know, when you hit download, you know, it's there. How how are you? Uh, do you have security or antivirus protection? How it's all the little things that we may not 
think about all the time when we're doing it because we're just out here hustling, trying to print the documents right? Um, and, and get on to the next signing. So you have to think about all of the little details. My expenses increased when I decided to I'm become sure. a signing service. Sure. Um, yeah. can, can you take L's and be okay with that? I'm not saying operate in the red, never that. But you have to but, be okay with it. But you have to be okay with paying that notary probably more than what you're getting paid and not necessarily always going back to your title company and say, well, I'm paying this notary $200 and you're only paying me $125. Can I get that? I mean, you can ask for it, of course. Okay. Yeah. But, but you know, that's based on the relationship that you have because some was like, hey, I paid you to do a job. <laughs> I don't care what you got to pay that notary, but I paid you X, Y, Z, right. so get you might want to get it done. Right. Yeah, yeah. you got to always have that um, get it done attitude. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Good to meet you. Where are we at? We're at, we're at one, almost at one o'clock. Like, wow. Look at there. And I was afraid I wasn't even going to make it one hour. <laughs> Everybody well, is so awesome. I yes. appreciate everybody. Oh, you want to put a time gap on it? I still, there's still a page. I have many, many questions, but it's up to you what you want to do, Queen. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm here for as long as you want to ask the questions. All right. I'm good. All right, cool. Okay. All right, so good Samaritan. Good. Then we're at the top of the hour. We we'll give away your next one. Okay. Okay, so good Samaritan. Do you have weekly trainings at DL Signings? I I do not. I've thought about it. And I've thought about it. And I was like, that's a good idea. So if I do venture into that, it probably will not be until the summer, maybe the fall, because it's just a lot going on right now. Um, but I've, I've, I mean, I've given it a lot of thought. And I'm like, okay, but everybody's out here training. How do I find my space you know i think um alluded to that before he's like god dog it they just came out with a good training topic i had it in my head but um but i didn't i didn't i didn't execute and as ty said make it your own because ain't nobody gonna do it the way that you do it so so i am going to uh, yeah so that is something that i'm going to think about for sure yes awesome um scruggs I've been getting in trouble from talking too much since elementary school. My report card said needs to refrain from excessive talking. I love it. I love it. I love it. That must be at your closing table. Oh, good. <laughs> so how long are your signings taking? Right. Right. <laughs> That's funny. First time catching a live of your Sunday sessions. Oh, thank you so much. Queen. Appreciate you. Um, excessive talking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. We need hands for you, Salathia. We are getting fire. I love it. Fire. I'm going to start singing. Fire and desire. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right. Let's see what else. Good Samaritan again. How do I become your favorite notary? Ooh. In Washington, D.C. <laughs> Well, good Samaritan. Is that your name in sign and order? Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I would say that um, you just you have to you have to do a great job, um, and a great job for me means I'm not expecting. Well, I do expect a flawless package, just like everybody else. But if there is an error. Just just be like, oh, that's my bad. I'm gonna go ahead and fix it. You know, um, and and communicate that, you know, that that's the main key for me is communicate. If something happens, if your closing was at six o'clock and I don't hear from you until 10 o'clock, there's a problem. Just be like, hey, you know, some people are like, oh, I'm running to a closing right after. So they can't, they don't have the time to complete the order or just send a quick text. Maybe mm -hmm. already have the text in the prep box or something and be like, hey, I'm running to a next one, but I got you. It closed. You know, something to that effect. Um, just always, if something strange happens, then just be in uh, communication with your signing service, even if you're talking to the title company and they are aware of the situation, 
the signing service isn't always aware of the situation and wondering what's going on. So communication. Yeah, I think communication is is huge. I think if you don't have anything else, you have to have communication because mm -hmm. that's your line. Like without it, you're kind of like lost. Mm -hmm. you know, the signing service, the title company, they're lost. Like where's the notary? She just got done with it like four hours ago. Where, where's our stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, I agree. Um, more fire. Um, hey. hey. Dang, he's on fire. <laughs> I'm learning so much. I see, 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 that's that flattery right there. I'm going to be on signing order looking for good Samaritan <laughs> favorites. That's that's that flattery, you know. <laughs> Way to go, good Samaritan. Way to go. You're very welcome, Scruggs. You're very welcome. Um, Scruggs, again, I love hearing your inside thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> You have them to see. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Scruggs says, dic dic dictating how you run your business. I've never thought about it from that perspective that folks are being shady and telling you to counter a high price than taking the lower price. That's interesting. I, I, so, so, so if you think about it, why are folks so adamant that you shouldn't be taking these 85. Where do these strong feelings come from? Like, because they think that it's <laughs> going to lower the price for every, for the whole market. That's what people say. Oh, if these newbies take the $60 and that's what it's going to be for everybody. I don't, I don't I, think that's true. I, 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 I don't think that's true because I, because if the newbies, yeah, they, if they want to take the, the $65 or the 75, or whatever that number is, then and then they're going to do a good job then then hey then that's how then that's how you get above the $65 that's how you get i i do believe you have to start somewhere but i can't tell you that you taking $65 is going to keep me from getting a maybe it does. i don't know i don't i don't i don't believe i don't i don't believe it is i don't believe it i don't believe it i don't yeah believe it. Yeah, I see that comment from EL Tour. Same thing happened. Same thing happened to me. I was like, I want to do that. Two twenty-five. Think you got Lord? No, I was just. I'm gonna do it. Do yep. <laughs> because you don't want to leave it unread. You don't want to not respond. So yep. you you be trying to. Yeah, been mm -hmm. there, done that. I've done it too. Um. All right. Another question. Women T, can you break down the fees associated with getting documents signed? I'm referring to the amount that appears on the settlement statement for notaries. Who gets what amount and how can we get more? Mm -hmm. So I would say, I don't, I, I don't know if all the time the fee that you see on the settlement statement is the fee that is going strictly to the signing service. Um, I can't say that because I don't know. I do know that I've had title companies say, hey, I got to go back and update based on your fee. So sometimes they will update it based on my fees. Sometimes they may have some other fees. Maybe maybe it's costing them to use my service, right? Maybe it's costing them some amount that we don't know about to, to get to me and not just about paying me. Um, I, I, I don't know. Um, how do you get more? You you do a you do a great job. A great job. You do a great job, and you and you be available, and you be able and ready and willing to um, assist. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. Uh, it only took me two hours to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Darkness falls at Stacy agreed. Ty, bring on a marketing expert. Thank you for the suggestions. I've been waiting for y'all to tell me. But I'm gonna go on break after this month, just to let y'all know. So I'll be working to find a marketing expert. Is any if anybody has any ideas or suggestions, mm. let me know. Let me know. Next question. I want all the signing agencies I work for and with to have the utmost confidence in me. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. 
that's what I'm doing. I'm just giving some time. I signed up for 170 companies, but I do believe that's because I'm in an attorney state. Thoughts? What? That 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 could very well be it, and and you have to be able to find. I'm not going to say find a way around it. Find what makes you different. Maybe you have to go to some attorneys and say, hey, just want to let you know I'm a notary. You know, if you need you need help with the closing because they, they don't want to notarize and you're there, you're available. You might have to start networking with attorneys in your state so that you can be the notary that they call when they get they get one. So then their marketing tactics would be reaching mm -hmm. out to attorney offices. Mm hmm. That. Right. For for all the marketing skills that I have, that's about as the okay. best that I can get for that one. Okay. Casey, how do you decide on which notary to use for a particular job? Um profile. Profile. Um <laughs> and and if I um and if I I will say if I've worked with a notary before, okay. because, you know, I, I trust that they're going to do a good job. Now, has that backfired? Yes. Yes. I'm sure. Yes. I've trusted. Oh, yep. I know they're going to do a good job until they don't. So <laughs> and then you're just like, God, God, they did so well. They did so well. Um, How many chances do you give them? How many chances do you give them? Oh, it if really depends. Can, I will say I will start on them. them. If they mess up, do you go dark on them? If they mess up, um, I try. I try to let them know. Some I will let them know that they've messed up. Others, others by virtue of the business, they know that they've they've messed up. Nope, I'm not going back out there to fix the documents. Well, that's enough said. I don't need to tell you anything else. You already know. <laughs> so, so I. So that's how I choose who to who to work with sometimes. And I am I do look at, you know, com, um, not commission date, but just to make sure that your stuff is not um, stale, you know, not expired. Um, and then if you say yes and then I look at it I'm like, oh, OK. Now, like when we talked about profiles, if you say you're a good communicator, in your profile, please be a good communicator because I will know if you're not a good communicator. People will say, oh, I'm a great communicator. And I'm like, no, no, no you really aren't. Some but, people talk about uh, their profiles, though, Salafia. So yeah. And then you have to stand up to what you just copied. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I say put your best foot forward and you and you be honest in your profile, I think. you know, I think integrity is everything. Without it, you don't have a business. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Um, I've noticed that EMA communication. What is what is EMA? I don't know what that means. EMA communication from signing companies do not include phone numbers. They sent from do not reply email addresses. I get the impression <laughs> of phone calls. What are your thoughts on that one? Um, that could very well be. Um, I okay. try not to. I try not to operate from that. You can call anytime. Um, <laughs> dotted line signings i mean if you just want to call and chit chat um yeah you can you can do that too uh but <laughs> oh. yeah, you don't have to hang out sometime you know that right <laughs> i mean if you want to i mean because i do believe in in um in the relationship building aspect. So if you have to call and be like, if we could cock -cock, one lady I had to call, she had to do um, to fix something that a notary did. And we was up there just chit chat. And I was like, girl, let me let you get off this phone so you can actually go do what I need you to do. Cause we, Cause we were talking and so, and but I felt like she did a little bit more than she had to. Mm. Because we were talking, and I and I was like, you know what? She did a good job. She did a little bit extra. She right. rolled around a little bit longer to find this location that, you know, I, I I try to own up to my my errors. But a lot of times, 
I don't need someone else to point them out because I try to catch them and apologize beforehand. Yeah, I think taking the initiative is important versus mm -hmm. waiting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tamra, should you have the signers put the full year on the documents, 2021 or 21? I am a fan of 2021. And should that be consistent throughout the entire document? Do you get pissed off if they put 21 on one and then 2021 on some other ones? Like, how do you feel about that? If, does that matter? Well, being the signing service, I'm in the middle. So it's whatever title is good with. I, I don't take ownership of those those documents, okay. if that makes sense. That makes sense. What's, but, the, what's the point of a blue and a black pen? Ha, that's a good one. <laughs> um, blue is for, I mean, I guess so people can determine if it's um, the original document, but everything gets scanned in. But sometimes I do, yeah. And sometimes I'll see the blue on the scan. Sometimes I'll see the black on the scan. Um, and I think it's just a preference thing. That's it's, it. The, not the like, because this is why I asked because I had a signing and they specifically asked for blue, mm -hmm. and I started the signing and I was doing it in black, and I'm mm -hmm. like, should I continue? Will they decline this package? So I literally mm -hmm. stopped, took the borrower's copy, and restarted. Mm -hmm. Like, so I don't know if it's if it's that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it would it get rejected if I chose the wrong color? Like. No, you know what? It could also be, did she pay attention? Mm. Are you paying attention to the instructions that I that um I put in the order? Mm. You know, um, because sometimes that happened to me before. And I was like, oh, oops. <laughs> like you said, you pull that's why you always print the borrower's copy the same way you print your copy. Yes. No shortcuts on the yes. borrower copies at all. Yes. Because you never know when you're gonna need it. Yes. Um so printing on back all on leather and printing on the back and all that. I I I I, I, I in good faith. I can't do that. What do you mean print on the back? They you print know, they're print two sides. But yeah. why? The same paper. But it does, but it does cause um a little bit more strain on your printer, right? Because the printer has to go forward and and back it up. You know, sound like a dance, right? Go forward, yeah. and back it up. But but you know, you you just want to make sure your borrower copy is exactly like your signer's copy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, oh, they have questions. Yeah. Mm. All right, let's keep rocking. Are we at the top of the hour? Okay, we're past the hour. So you want to give your last giveaway? Yes, 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 yes. No okay. Question, oh, let's see what I want to ask. Um, okay, okay, because because I've I've had I've had people ask this clarifying question before. Um, in my special instructions. If I say I need full scan backs, what does that mean? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> that's a good question. Thank you so much, Lisa. I appreciate you, Queen. I need right. full scan backs. Oh, Cassie got it. <laughs> All right. Y'all, y'all won't believe how many times I'll say um how many um semi full scan backs and I'll still get calls. Do you only want the pages that are signed and notarized? No, full package. Full everything. Well, it takes a lot for me to scan back everything. It takes a lot for you to sit there and pull out the documents that that were signed. <laughs> I think that takes a whole lot of effort. It does. Right? Yes. It takes a whole lot of effort to say no, nope, that wasn't scanned, that wasn't that wasn't signed. Then just yes. just drop it in the in the whole thing. Yeah. Yes. But yes, yeah, scan if full scan backs. And now in signing order, you get um, and I I was must have given myself an order so I could see how things go. You have to acknowledge that scan backs are required. Mm. You have to acknowledge that scan backs are required with that order. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, Stacy, what month does it get slow for loan signings? I really think that may be area specific. Um, and the reason why I say that is because I, Florida got really quiet for me this last month or so, um, but other states are picking up. So I don't know that there is a, that there is a month. I just think that you may have to pay attention to what the market is doing um, to see if folks actually want to refinance or if anybody's actually buying. Um, so I don't know if there's a month per se. So if it does get slow for you, just have a, um, just have a backup plan. Um, so work. Start, start start your, your, yep. Start pushing your general notary work. I love if, general notary work. Yeah. In, out. They know what they're signing. I don't have to do any of that. So, I don't have no overhead. I don't have no nothing. I don't have to bring no documents except my loose certificates. And sometimes I don't even have to do that because the, the certificate or the notarial statements on the document, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In, out. You pay me, I'm out. Done. Right, I don't have to wait 30, 60, 90 days. Speaking of, how quickly do you pay? Is that basically? Uh, 30 how days. Does that work? Sorry, my brain's going a lot. Yes, so go. go pays weekly. Some people pay 30, some people pay 60. Why the difference between the signing companies and, and when we get paid, when some people can pay like this? Um, I put 30 days. Okay. Some, some notaries that have worked for me could get paid as quick as 15 days, as quick as 20 days. Mm -hmm. um, but that's that's part of it. I Sometimes I have to carry until I get paid. Um, but I think that 30 days is probably allowing the, um, the signing service to get paid for the closing because it doesn't always, it doesn't happen immediately for the most part. And so the signing service doesn't want mm -hmm. to um, put out whatever money they have in hopes that they get paid. You know what I'm saying? They want to get paid so that they can pay. So it's, I, I've, I've waited for the 90 days and maybe that's just because they're waiting for all of their stuff and maybe they just want to to carry. Maybe they 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 have it in a high yield savings account. You know what I'm saying? They want to make right. a couple of dollars before they actually right. pay out. But for me, um, it's within 30 days. And I and I ask that if you do work with me um, and, it, and if day 31 pops up and you still haven't had a check, just call me. You ain't got to put me on Facebook. It's 31 days and select <laughs> ain't pay me. Put her on the deadbeat list. Just 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 pick up the phone and be like, hey, select, you know, um, I did this X, Y, Z for you. Can, can you can you send me my money? I'll be on a computer, you know, sending your check and apologizing profuse, profusely because I don't right. want to be on the deadbeat list for not paying notaries. Um, but yeah, you know, you like you want to get paid for your work. And if they have it in their policy that you should get paid within 30 days, then I don't see a problem with calling on day 31 to say you haven't paid me. Now, sometimes you do forget because sometimes I forget. And I may call on day 60 and be like, hey, I'm still waiting for this. But then by then, it's my fault that I've taken that long to, to call them to check up on my money. Um, but definitely just just hit me up on day 31 if you haven't. Don't call me on day 27 because I'm be like, you ain't give me you ain't give me the full 30 days. But call me on day 31. Then I'll square you away right away. Perfect. No. Um, there was a question about data, data security. What type of data security do you recommend and what, um, what do you use? Uh, I have Norton, but I also, in my um, my general liability policy, I um, pay extra for um, cyber um, protection. Um, oh, nice. So if, anything, so if anything happens, then I am covered under my insurance. Um, I do use cloud. Um, I do use cloud base um, for saving. Um, I make sure I delete everything that, you know, pops up in the downloads folder. You have to do that religiously, you know, delete everything off your downloads. And if I have to save, I use a um, cloud server. I use pCloud. Um, Damn. Who's pCloud? Yeah. pCloud is a um, cloud-based server, and they offer a crypt. Um, now, if you forget your password for your crypt, 
you 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 just SOL because you they Where? they're not keeping your password. <laughs> yeah. So um, I I just I thought they were reasonable in price. And they offer uh, a lot of storage. You can do file sharing. You can um, request files. Like if I'm doing an online notarization, I send my client a link. Hey, drop your stuff in this folder. That way it's not necessarily on my computer, but it's saved in the cloud. After the notarization is complete, I can send them a link and say, here, come back here and pick up your documents. So hmm. that's that's what I use and I've been successful um, so far with that. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Perfect. Um, I think I'm getting sleepy. I love signing service trainings. I like to know exactly what they are looking for. Yeah, that's, that's key to me too. Cause to me, you can sign up. I mean, I just spit something. You can sign up to a lot of, <laughs> you can sign up to a lot of signing companies. And I guess this is the thing for me. It's like when you sign up to a lot of them, you can lose track. Like mm -hmm. at one point, I forgot who was supposed to send me checks. I forgot that I was supposed to get a check in the mail. Mm -hmm. right? Like mm -hmm. that's why I say start off slow until you can get your train moving. Then once you can get your train moving, you got your momentum and you got your processes down. Then I would say, yeah. But in mm -hmm. the beginning, it can be overwhelming, in my opinion. Because then you got to remember who you signed up with, who you got to update your credentials with. Like it's a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My studies are less than an hour. I learned quickly that there's a reason. To <laughs> yes, my first one, Scruggs, took two hours because I was yabbity yap, yap, yap. Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Thank you so much, Good Samaritan. Yes, folks are very strong in their feelings. Some people need to learn. Much more. <laughs> coast to coast has trainings. I've yep. seen they're actually pretty yep. decent. They're actually pretty decent. Um, as a part-time signing agent, do you offer signings around 5 p.m. or later? Yes. Yes. I do have them come in that time. Okay. Somebody suggested notary to notary. Okay. Mm. okay. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. What do you look for on the profile? Um, what do I look for on a profile? Um, it has to has to be well written. Now, well, have I awarded, have I given um, to notaries who were the only ones that actually said yes, and I looked at their profile, and I'm like, oh, fingers crossed. Yes, it happens. But if I get a couple of yeses, then yes, I am looking at the profile to be like, if, it, if it's asking for a scan back, then I'm going to look for the one that has the mobile scanner. Um, if... Um, to make sure that they can give me the scan backs timely. And then that's a hit or miss too, because like we said, some people just check the boxes without actually having the mobile scanner. Your phone to me is not a mobile scanner. They check off things so they can potentially in hopes get the signing, right? Yes. Yes. And then when you on the spot, then it's kind of like, you know, you're on the line because you, you accepted them because they thought mm -hmm. they were being true and valid. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, my sister in love. Hey. What's up? Okay, you can make money in an attorney state, but like she said, you will have to know how to market yourself. 170 companies definitely check your bio. It should be getting something love. Thank you, Queen. I appreciate you, sis. Awesome. Awesome. Um, what else? Why go dark when you can provide feedback and create better agents to work with? There's a lot of signing companies that go dark on agents after they screw up, and you don't even know yes. why. You don't know why. So like, so one I had, um, I specifically said in my instructions that you're going to need um, witnesses. You can be one. I don't know all state laws. So if you can be a witness in your state, definitely, you know, you can be the one. And then the borrower may, or signer, excuse me, may have to provide another one. And sometimes they can't, then we try to disclose that um, um, beforehand, mm. fingers crossed. Um, but it is, so that particular one didn't provide any, nothing had a witness on it. And I'm like, so I went back to check my instructions to say, Hey, do you have any 
expert. Okay, I did say provide witnesses. So I did. I emailed the notary and said, hey, you ain't provide no witnesses. Can you please advise why you didn't provide the witnesses as it was requested right. in the in the instructions? They went dark. <laughs> they didn't say anything. <laughs> but I feel like there are just certain things that there, there are, I guess, um, industry do's or don'ts, right? Yeah. A do yeah. is if you made a mistake, go back and fix it. Yeah. A don't is say, oh, well, to heck with it. When you're on the don't, you already know the don't. So if you don't go back and fix your mistake, then yeah. why do I need to sit here and say, hey, because you didn't fix your mistake, I don't want to <laughs> work with you anymore. You already know that because that's on the don't. You already know. You already exactly. know that's on the don't list. Um, yeah. But when they do make a mistake where it could be, um, it could be rectified and that they're willing to fix it, then then they're not they're not in the dark because we've had a conversation. You know how to fix it. You're willing to fix it. We'll move on. Um, I I called you about it. We talked about it. You understood. Um, and then sometimes. It could just be the tone. It could just be the, the feedback that is that is given. Like I said, when I made that mistake for Amrock, I was doing all the neck rolling on my side. I ain't call Amrock with the neck roll. You know, I was doing everything on my side. I ain't make no mistake. I don't know what they talking about. I said that all to Slate. That's what I, I say that all to Slate. So I'm not I'm not calling Amrock and saying, oh, you got that wrong. I'm gonna need you to look at that again. You know, um, so it's all in how you handle yourself. I can't tell you how to be a better person. That's something you got to want to be for yourself. Max. So, yeah. I mean, you know when you're being crappy. You know. People know when they're being, when, when they're being crappy. So why would I expect a call back from someone that I know I just... Facts. Took a poo all over their cereal, you know. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so it looks like Shanique had. Hey, hey! Awesome. Awesome. Um, Linda Edwards said, because there's a dead, there's a dead beat Facebook group. <laughs> I know I don't want to be in that Facebook group. Hey, Linda, if you ever see me in that group, you better holler. Holler. <laughs> Let me know. Let me know how I got to get off the list. Right. And I think that's another reason I don't advertise the signing service as much with those because they will put you on blast. Nope. Mm -mm. In a heartbeat. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to protect my space. <laughs> positive, vibes, positive vibes. Positive vibes. All positive vibes. All right. We are nearing the bottom. Okay. Stacey, we're all set to start training on notarized. You, you in your, in your, In your in your bio, you mentioned remote online notarizations. Mm -hmm. Do you is that one of your niches? Is that something that you is that something that you also do on your platform as far as your signing company? Um, like, can you talk a little bit about that? I do both. Okay. Um, I do uh, online notarizations myself, and I do um, I do hand out online notarization works. Now, to be an online notary it you really have to you have to and i know keisha talks about it you have to have a special skill set you have to have customer service skills you have to be patient with the signer and with the technology you have to know your technology inside and out to be able to guide your signers to successful notarization does it always happen Nope. Do they always want it done in five minutes? Yep. Does it always take five minutes? Nope. nope. So you have to manage your expectations when it comes to online notarization. Being that you're on notarized, you know, it's pretty much it's it's fluid because I've worked on the notarized platform as well. You sit there and trust me, don't take your finger off that um that mouse button because that's the, it'll be gone before you even click. You look up and it's gone. So you want to be trained on your computer, have your mouse over the accept click so you can get the call. Then you perk up 
and then you read the script. They give you a script, so you really can't yeah. go wrong. So definitely just just go through your script. Don't try to ad lib it. Don't try to don't try to do something different. Go through your script. Make sure you read the notes that they provide you because each client has different notes on how they want their documents notarized. So definitely read the notes. Know what you need to be looking for when they're doing those PO those um. Uh, the postal forms, you want to make sure that they have a second form of identification uploaded. Notarize is a great platform. You can add loose leaf acknowledgments. So definitely become really familiar with that platform. I, they do provide great training, and that is a great way to start in the online notarization space. This is what I'll tell you. Takesha and I had a master class yesterday. Yes! Freaking phenomenal. She, she's, I'm going to call her the goat. I know she don't want me to call her that, but she's the goat. I call her that too. She's, she's amazing. So I did record that call. So for everybody that was on and did sign up for that registration, just to allude to the remote online notarization, mm -hmm. I'm sending out that recording because it was a lot of information. So I'm not yes. a strong person, you know, because John, uh, New Jersey is in his own universe. So I don't really touch <laughs> Ron, but it's popping in other states. You know what I mean? Like Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Yes. Linda says, my signings are still taking too long. I don't know how you are all doing signings with over 200 pages under an hour. I, I, it, okay. So I have my, I think it depends on the signing agent. I, I don't worry. What do you, what do you, what is too long for you? Um, if you're still on, Linda, what's, if you're too, long still, what's too long for you? Yeah. Ha! Right. Ah, Stacy's coming up with a handheld clicker for notarized. I know, right? <laughs> so, what is too long for you? An hour for me is for me is not too long. That that's not too long. Um, I know some folks want to get in and get out, and because that's because that's that's how their schedule is set up. I I don't set my schedule up that it's way. That I'm rushing. Two hours. Oh. It's taking her two hours. Okay. How many pages? Now, I would probably say an hour. I say hour. probably an hour. Yeah. An hour. So, we, well, we can talk, Linda. We got to um, we gotta get you comfortable with your long client closings again. Yeah. Takesha, as a signing service, can you see reviews on Notary's profile behind the scenes? <laughs> so, so how y'all want me to answer that? Truthfully? <laughs> Truthfully, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Keisha. I'm gonna talk Thanks. to you later. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, yes. Linda says, "Hey, Miss Alethea, Miss Ty, you better set a time to end this because one night we had four to five hour Zoom calls. Dang. Yes, yes, we did. I think we was up to one thirty. Dang. Yes." Yes, yes. How do you as a signing service address requests to notarize the note? How do you I, I, haven't, mm -hmm. I haven't had that request. I think I've only seen, and I don't even know where I saw it, one note notarized. I'm not used to the note being notarized. Am I missing something? Have, have y'all notarized the note? I haven't. I don't think I it's been notarized. The mortgage I, or the deal? Yeah, yeah. But not the note. I, I haven't had anyone say, hey, notarize the note. So mm. good notary, I haven't had that request. Okay. I've never had that. Austin, sometimes there are two or three rights to cancel. How do we know how many to return? Right to cancel mm -hmm. in New Jersey is two. The law states the right to cancel. You have to have them sign two copies and two go back. Two they keep for New Jersey. Oh, so it might be state specific then. What is it in, in Florida? Um, I they get two copies, mm -hmm. and then I I'll send back one, and it depends on two. Sometimes, um, Amrock Amrock hybrids are usually pretty specific, and then the sometimes I've had people sign six different copies of a, I think a six cancel. Well. I'm just like, Oh, that's so, that's so many. Yeah. So yeah. then when I get a whole lot of copies and of the um, notice 
to cancel or right to cancel, then I look in the specific instructions. I'll go through the specific instructions to try to get how many they want me to leave um, with the signer. Okay. Yeah, because I, I do too. And then there's there's another one called the, um, oh my God. Maybe this is a question maybe you can answer because this is my question for you. You know the initial tax authorization form, right? Which mm -hmm. you, once you pull the taxes, that information goes to the mortgage company. Why are there like five to six to seven of those in the freaking packet to sign? Like, <laughs> yeah, I've often wondered that as well. I don't know if they all have to go through to different places. Or maybe somebody gets a copy, somebody gets a copy. But yeah, I've always wondered why there are so many sense. of those. It doesn't. And that that was the form that tripped me up that night when I when I didn't <laughs> when I didn't print all the pages. <laughs> that was that I oh gosh. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't sometimes I want to go to these title companies and sit with the closing agent that's preparing the documents and, and wondering like, what, wh what are you going off of? If there's like a process, do they tell you to put all these in there? Like, it's just, it's crazy to me. And then I have the customers that are saying, Ty, why do I have to keep signing this? Why can't we just do this electronically? This is just, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. I get that question all the time. Really? Paper. Why? I just wish we could do this remotely. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. I don't know. A good notary. Do not notarize the note unless you're an attorney who happens to be a notary. The NNA put out a bulletin on it. Hmm. Interesting. Good to know. Uh, we're almost done. Beyond, uh, I don't know how to say your name, Queen. I'm just going to say Anna. I heard LLS is the best training for those in an attorney state. I don't have no thoughts on LLS. And I think you mean LSS. Loan signing system, is that what you're talking about? I have no comments. You have any comments? No comments. I haven't taken the training. I haven't taken no training, y'all. So I can't, I can't. The only person I can recommend is is Takesha, because I've, you know, regarding remote online notarization. <laughs> Keisha, Keisha. <laughs> Scruggs, this has been great. Enjoyed hanging with you ladies in the Sunday brunch crew. Thank you so much. I like that. Sunday brunch crew. Here you it. go. I love it. Darkness, I absolutely know that. I'm sick of being asked. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm in California. I got to fill out every document, every signature in my journal. There we go. What happened? Uh, uh, now it makes sense of why hers might take a little bit longer. <laughs> That's all the things she has to do, right? Yep. Is there any way you can do that on the front end? I don't yeah, well, know how people feel about, you know, prepping their journal prior to. Is that is that a preference? Is that a no-no? Um, prepping your journal prior to, you know, the um, going out to the signer's house. As you're going through your documents and reviewing your documents, are you able to prep your journal before going out? Do you prep your documents before you go out? Uh, yes. I prep mine. I don't I'm sign and I don't stamp, but I fill in like the venue and yes. all that stuff. But I have them because I don't want them thinking I'm doing fraudulent stuff. So I'll do yes. my stamp and signature in front of them, but everything mm -hmm. else I fill it in. Mm -hmm. oh. oh yeah oh yeah i prep i prep my documents i used to be a tabber until i realized uh, i was just taking a lot of time i don't tab I, I i used to be i was like oh, i'm gonna tap here 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 it, it didn't help if you don't know where to sign you just you're not gonna tap the right spot so it helps to learn where to sign on the documents then you can take the training wheels off of yes. the um of the tabs but yeah it, it prep as much as you can before you get there. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> LS oh. oh okay. Oops. Okay. LSS is a scam, not worth the money. All right. You said it. All right. So moving on. <laughs> Darkness falls a good notary. When I see that lender in the order, I click not available. I'm not losing my commission for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Austin, so how what? So I what? How so? I've heard nothing but good things about it. No comment. I prep documents, but not my journal. I write on sticky notes what should be entered in journal. So they feel. Hmm. Yeah, I, 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 journal? I, I prep my I prep my journal when I can. Yeah. As much as I can. 
even though it's not required in Florida, you know, it's still the best practice. Um, so I prep as much as I can. Mm, okay. This is the last question. This is the last question. Austin, half of the LSS videos are free on YouTube. Then he auto enrolls you in his Facebook group at $29 per month. You can do Facebook meetings like this, but not actually get one on. Well, she says she got my, there you go. <laughs> I got my answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going the self-taught route so far. No training. Ty, did you do the same? I really want to know. Yes. Everything that I have done in my business and what I'm trying to build as far as my apostille and authentications uh, that I'm training you guys on, everything has been done by trial and fire. I don't have any formal training. Um, I couldn't recommend any type of trainings. So I am just, I'm just out here, you know, doing my thing and it's trial by fire. And mm -hmm. I believe sometimes you have to pay to play. Unfortunately. What? What'd you say? What'd, What'd you say? say? What'd, What'd you say? just say? No, what did you just say? Who, me? Yes. About what? About pay to play? Sometimes oh, you have to? Sometimes you have to pay to play. Okay. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. Not if you read them Facebook groups. Nope. You better not be paying nothing. Don't pay nothing. <laughs> Listen, I don't be on Facebook because uh, Facebook drives me insane. I mean, you'll see me pop <laughs> to be a creeper just to find some things to talk about like on clubhouse or whatever mm -hmm. but people in facebook they're crazy and if i was a newbie coming into this industry you would completely deter me from trying to be a, mm -hmm. a lsa because people mm -hmm. are just listen yeah yeah i'm i'm glad i i I'm, I'm on that same vibe sometimes people say i don't pay to play well you paid for that background check you paid for that commission Right. You paid for you paid for all these things to be an LSA. And that's because you wanted to be an LSA to play. Yes. So sometimes you do have to. I mean, it's your business. You're investing in your business. So right. you, you don't let somebody it's else an investment. Talk about business. You don't let right. somebody talk to you about all of the thousands of dollars or how much money you put into it based on somebody's comment, a stranger that you do not know. I don't understand. I'm sorry. Yeah. <sighs> anyway. I think that's it, Salathia. They're, they're still putting in stuff. Thank y'all so very much. This was awesome sauce. That's my favorite word, awesome sauce. Yeah. <laughs> you, you all poor. I appreciate you. Um, Thank you. Austin says, check out Notary Stars. You can pay $25 for one month and get access to great videos. Each document presentation broken down. That's dope. Okay, that's cool. Okay. And finally, some Facebook groups are very discouraging. Yes, I'm not on Facebook. So if y'all follow me, y'all try to ping me on Facebook on the Messenger. It may be like a week till I get back to you because I'm not on Facebook. So <laughs> you have to follow me on Instagram. And even then, I'm mm -hmm. still, I try to get better. But I think that's it. I think we're done. Yes. So, well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank yes. you. I, you did it. See? I didn't know you was that funny, though. No. <laughs> it's freaking hello. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, goodness. That's the nervousness. That's the nervousness. But yeah, everybody was so great. I thank you all so much for um, joining no, us. No, go ahead. No, I was it. Thank you. I, I, yeah, yeah. So yeah. as I end, I typically try to say, "Hey, give some." As Brittany says, uh, "Juju beans." Do you have any encouraging words for for our people? And then I will end it with my two cents, and then we'll get out of here. Uh, encouraging words. Um, be just be be yourself. Don't let anyone take you out of character. Um, don't let anyone influence your character because you know who you are. So just be you as you're running your business, and that will shine as long as you're a good person. Yeah, if you got keyword <laughs> practice, pra practice honesty and integrity because that's why you became a notary to begin with because you believe in the faith and the oath of being a notary of being honest and um and yeah. having integrity so always keep that at the forefront of what um, you're doing i know signing services sometimes i have to go to bat for the notaries i feel like now you know we can't do that come on man stop stop so because I because I'm a notary too, right? And I don't want to be put in a precarious position. Yeah. And so, you know, just you you can stand your ground without being rude or disrespectful. You know, um, you can get your point across. It's it's not all about um 
signing service versus the notary because at the end we all just want to make sure that we win which is having a, a a great package for the borrower to be able to do whatever they needed to do whether it's to purchase a home or refinance a home so just know that we are trying to work as a team so just 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 be yourself just be yourself i love it deep gratitude to both and my peers, bountiful week to you all. Yes, all of you, thank you so much. Uh, excellent live stream, ladies, appreciate that. Very welcome. Um, Tiffany, Queen, thank you both, very welcome. So Zalathia, thank you so much again You're for welcome. being here. Um, I will definitely, I'm looking to do something whenever COVID whatever happens, get everybody that I've interviewed, some people that I've interviewed, um, back, <laughs> back to do like a, you know, a live thing. So how that's gonna work out. Oh, that know. would be, oh, that would right? be really cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's you know that can be like the year in review. You know how YouTube yes. has their year in review, yes. like of all their great people that came on, and yes. yeah, that would be that would be cool. Yeah, that I would think be cool. cool. Okay, so we were about to get out of here, y'all. What y'all doing, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> this was amazing. Facebook groups have me in fear, trembling with their stories. Yes, love the energy. Thank you so much, y'all. We about to get out of here. Hang on, Salitha, your insight into the industry was great. Yes. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. How long did it take you for you to get direct tie? Um, three months, give or take. Um, thank you both for everything. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You. And awesome info. Thank you, ladies. Okay, Salitha, we're out of here, guys. As always. Do not chase the money, create the money, go through the process. Do not go around the process. Have your discernment, work your business. Do not allow anybody to take that from you. And that's it. We're out of here. Yes, I'll see y'all in Clubhouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is awesome. Bye. <laughs>